and we're live. Woohoo! Hello, Hello everybody. <laughs> Let's, uh, last time we were on, um, uh, Petunia had just made a romantic connection. Indeed. We have a lovely non binary girlfriend now. Oh, in vaguely related news, happy Pride Month! Yeah, happy, <laughs> happy Pride. I, I need to turn off push to talk. Oh goodness, yes, that would make gaming very difficult. Okay, now Moon Kitty is on voice activity. If you guys hear an echo, uh. Let me know, and uh, I will get back to you. I'm going to take off this headlamp because it's silly. <laughs> A good idea. It also distracts from the flower. Distracts from a lot of things. Oh, hello. I was just trying to get Lainey to go hunting with me, but it wasn't making much progress on that front. The sun is coming up, but you can still faintly see the stars if you look closely enough. There's something very special about the early morning. It's almost magical. We have realistic meows in the background to add to the immersion. Uh, we'll just we'll just pretend he's not here. <laughs> I need to remember how to move. How do I run again? Is it shift? It has been so long since I did the voices oh, for these characters. Clicking. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. It's Charlotte's den! Just, you know, going into going into a room whenever we want. You just going to stand there all day? Up and about early today, eh, Petunia? I respect that. Trouble never sleeps, so we can't let her guard down. Oh, and thank you, Blood Hush, for the love. Oh. Can't pop in for too long, but sending love. Thank you. Alright, so I need to get back on track. What were we doing? I mean, I guess we just uh, successfully romanced Charlotte, but... Yeah, we, we just started spamming the friendship tab. Um, we sort of capped out on our skill level abilities to do the mines. Um... <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna plug a controller in. I forgot. Oh, shoot! Next time, next time. Yeah, yeah. Well now, what's been going on today? Been on any fun adventures? Well now, I saw this here rabbit and thought of you, Petunia. Do you like it? Thank you, free rabbit. Thank you, rabbit. I will take it. Well, thank you for the rabbit. Yeah. All of the characters in this game are romanceable. Uh, we just chose to romance Charlotte. Sorry, for some reason I've, I've only been talking to characters that I voiced this entire time so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It's giving me a chance to read the chat. To what do I owe the pleasure of your esteemed presence? You need not worry about Glimmer. I am self-sufficient. I need nothing but the voice of the stars to guide my life. You voice every third-person speaking character in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. it they're, you're just drawn to them. I still can't figure out your angle. I'm probably not worth your time. I don't have anything for you. Oh, I'm a wreck right now. I have a little pebble that I carry around everywhere with me. When I get stressed out, I like to rub circles around the pebble with my paw. It's gone missing. I can't find it anywhere. I'm sure I misplaced it and forgot where I put it. Shoot, Garlic, you've really done it this time. Okay, well, Garlic, uh, having a problem. Yeah. Let's talk to Ember. Hello, Petunia. Out running errands? If shopping is on your list, I can help with that. I used to be a bit of a jokester, but life has a way of beating you down. I've got more important things to do than sit around thinking up funny jokes. Becoming a parent is a trial in its own right. Also very rewarding, but it's hard work. Hmm. I agree, Amber. Just so tired of your adult child of <laughs> my adult child what's up catch any bugs today i hope you like it here it's nice and safe and boring yeah it gets real boring around here sometimes let's see if we got I'm any... sorry spark do we have any bugs on yeah. us tiger butterfly lovely 
Spark is easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, Petunia. Oh, speaking of, uh, yes, one of the reasons we're doing it today specifically is because the Kickstarter is closing very soon. Uh, it's this coming Friday, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, at uh, 9.58 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. And it so, looks like they're about halfway to what I think is their last goal, which is one more romanceable cat. 250,000, I believe. Uh, I think it's yeah. 225. Oh, is it? I might be wrong. Yeah, 225. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think that they're like uh, 217. Yeah, uh, 214. 214, 500. 214. So um, they're, uh, they're almost there. That's the last stretch goal. And if you want to get in on like the alpha or the beta, the, the, the um, is it the alpha that's coming in? I believe so, yes, yes. We, we don't actually, we, we didn't do the research before we <laughs> started not advertising this Kickstarter, I'm sorry, <laughs> but the Kickstarter is in the description, and um, you're only going to have, like, the next five days to sign up if you're interested. I believe uh, one of the tiers gets you the alpha and the other gets you the beta. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong about that. I think that's true. Let's talk to Champ. I've got a second if you need something, Petunia. You look like you're planning on lounging about in the sun. Bad idea. That's a good way to waste an entire day. Those who rise to the top are those who are constantly on the move. You have to cultivate an attitude of persistence if you want to win the prize. Do you feel a, Shoot, a I do like Champ. with with Champ? <laughs> Do you maybe I, think think that Champ is, is a relatable I feel guy? With Champ. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> you don't need it, you sure? I don't think Champ is a relatable guy. <laughs> I, okay, in most ways, I don't think Champ is a relatable guy. Mm -hmm. But that particular speech, I kind of agree with you, Champ. <laughs> mm. Sunnyfall and her favorite character, Champ. Yeah, Champ. Absolutely. Oh, are you talking to me? So sorry, I startle easily. I like it when it's warm out. Most cats leave town during the day, and I can spend some time alone. It's nice. I don't remember what she likes, and I don't want to risk it. Uh, I, I should have pulled this up earlier. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> Thank you for keeping a chart when... <laughs> Uh, Buttercup likes moth shrews, staying home, and butterflies. Oh, yeah, uh, I can get a butterfly right now. Watch this. And as far as we can tell, dislikes herbs. Don't give them herbs. Yeah, they, uh, they seem to react poorly to getting their medicine. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, you know, we, we were all blaming Champ for it, but maybe it was Crampy who bullied them. To me, sorry, I startle easily. H how kind of you! She's kind of cute when she looks at you. They um, <laughs> they like butterflies though, and that's that's good. Sunny is not romantically interested in Champ. Sunny feels a <laughs> work balance kinship with Champ. Um, it's a problem. <laughs> Hello, Petunia. I trust that you're staying busy. You sure do know how to brighten my day, don't you? This new king- uh, this kingdom business is so exciting. I wake up every day with no idea what surprises await. There's never a day dull, dull day around here. I think, um... So, Sunny, Sunny, when you play your own file, are you gonna, are you gonna yeah, marry yeah, yeah. Champ? Are you gonna have, uh... Are you gonna have some, <laughs> I'm, some little I might. ocelot babies with Champ? And I, I you, might. <laughs> you can have similar workflows in life together. Because definitely Buttercup and Charlotte are probably my favorite characters, but we're dating Charlotte now, and I want to be Buttercup's friend more than I want to be their partner. Mm -hmm. So I might end up dating Chip. I might end up dating <laughs> Champ in my personal file. I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I I can't wait to see the terrible, terrible babies, Sunny. I... <laughs> you going to make Sunny fall, or are you going to make, like, another character? <sighs> I feel like Sunnyfall dating champ would be really weird, so I'm probably <laughs> going to make another character. <laughs> I 
I guess on some level, if you make the character you, it's kind of weird to begin with. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I would make Moon Kitty in this game. I have, um, in fact, in the last Cat Tales, I have never made or played a file um, off of my Switch. I, on, on my Switch, I don't, I didn't uh, put it in, but I've never played a file without the Beaver skin on. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I kind of want to make a Sunny Fall skin because mm -hmm. she has a semi-complex design and I'm, inter I'm interested to see if I can do it, mm -hmm. but I don't think I would want to play through a full game as her. You could always play through a game and then, like, not have kittens and not have... Oh, that's true. I could become besties with everyone and... Uh, wait, no, there's no adoption in this world. I could become best friends with everyone, have no kittens, and die alone. Happy. I think, I think there should be some adoption. <laughs> I think that um, that Cattail's adoption should, should be an option. Someone, someone says, we found this kitten in the wild. Are you interested in taking care of it? And then when you say no, they say, oh, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna find somewhere for, oh, the, no. for this cat to live then. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. No, wait, I want the kitten. Give me the kitten, please. <laughs> Let me take care of the kitten. Are you sure? <laughs> You'll I never miss. see this kitten again if I get rid of it. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I definitely want this kitten. Please give me this kitten. I want to be sure they're safe. <laughs> oh no, I missed the bird. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I love I love mechanics in video games like that, where like there like in any other situation, the entire conversation would be some sort of weird guilt trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cattails adoption. I am an asexual and I still want children. See. Just not biological. <laughs> it could it could be a really good way to one up warrior cats. Yes, please. <laughs> to eat this frog. Wait, doesn't I have adopted like you and I am like... your real mother. Gar does garlic like frogs? Someone likes them. Oh, yes, uh it's not garlic. It is. Um, that just likes. Uh, glimmer. Glimmer likes frog. I see. And I that's it. Glimmer. That that's all we know. Technically, it's still the same day that we uh, that we uh, proposed to Charlotte. Uh, not proposed. Uh, we didn't propose. We're not getting married. But it's the same day that we. Um, it's it's the same day that that we uh, we began dating Charlotte. So we don't need to give Charlotte a gift today. But we um we should consider uh stocking up on flowers. I, I think uh we, we found out idea. that her favorite flower uh grows in the uh fall. Yes, yes, I believe so. Also, uh several people in the comments last time were saying we passed over multiple Queen of the Nights when we were going around at night. Yeah, I I, so, I read that too, but I still don't even remember. I, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> They should have timestamped it. Next time I, 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 I run past a Queen of the Night, timestamp it in the comment and say, hey, here's the Queen of the Night. You and we'll get it in part four. <laughs> you absolute not please. You absolute buffoon. Eventually, eventually it will be night and I'll have the opportunity to pass over more flowers. Uh, the Kickstarter comes with a firefly. Uh, that, that it does, will yes. alert you to where things are that you can gather, and I think very that useful. would be very helpful to me as yeah, I yeah. have no idea how to see. I I cannot see. Not everything at once. No, it's very difficult. I think um, I think if I if I was uh, I was playing like solo and not on stream, I would be a little bit less frantic about my activities. My um, <laughs> I'd probably but take then my again, time more. If you weren't streaming it, we couldn't have gone back through the first playthrough and came up with this lovely chart of what everyone hates. <laughs> I actually I started watching other people's um, other people's demo let's plays to 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 steal their information, but um, as it turns out, most of the ones that I watched at the time um, weren't really given anything to people, which oh. is surprising to me. Uh, Wait, but... what did they do then? Oh, like hunt. Oh. Um... Well, I mean, hunting's fine and all, but I feel like. Making best friends of everyone in your camp is, like, the main purpose of this game, to me. For now, with the demo, I think. Uh, like, yeah, like, yeah. 
I'm not, I, I think that it's gonna be more about like getting these people to join. Uh, I think there's gonna be an element of that. Um, Fun as heck, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's gonna be kind of interesting, I hope. Again, I don't, I don't have any insider information on the, uh, on the game. I only, uh, I, uh, I only very loosely attempt to remember things I know, but I'm having a good time, even, that uh, we, even yeah. here. <laughs> uh, that <laughs> noise was me, uh, was me getting the alert that I am now live on my channel. Oh, great! So uh, I'm glad that YouTube I'm so eventually glad. caught up because uh, <laughs> it wasn't showing people that I that I had scheduled this stream either for a while. Yeah, uh, my notification that the stream went live happened four minutes into the stream. I see. It was great. <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> I'd like to get a feat that allows me to sneak while swimming. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Someone asked what? Why don't people in real life make charts about their friends' dislikes? <laughs> um, first of all, I know a couple people who do. Uh, there, I, I know a couple people who actually take notes on everything they know about a friend so that they can better shop for them and do things for them in the future. Um, but in general, yes, I think that is a useful tool, and we should start uh, normalizing it more. <laughs> Friendship spreadsheets. Every so often, I'll see something and I'll put it in like a like a like a birthday or Christmas presents like like a uh, like folder, like a saved birthday or Christmas presents folder, and then I'll go back to it and uh, oh no, it's a bat. <sighs> I'll go back to it and um, won't remember who I saved it for. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well stock up on these fireflies now that it's the last day of summer. Very true. Your inventory is full. Well, I guess I'll eat this mouse. Yum yum. Oh, and it's autumn. Never mind on the fireflies. Let's go back. Oh, well. <laughs> I love how it just changed like that. Like, no transition. <laughs> Autumn's pretty, though. I like autumn. Oh, my inventory. Still full. Still need to eat. Yum. Wait, there's still fireflies. Oh. Huh. I guess they stay through autumn. Maybe it's just some types of fireflies that go away or something? Maybe. But I can pick these up, so they're probably ones that were already in my inventory. Oh! Uh, yeah, maybe get away from the friend. I love having friends. Friends are great. Um, friends are less great when they're shadowy and ominous and try to attack you. <laughs> what do you think friends are for? Come on, Sonny. I mean, yeah. I mean... <laughs> if are if they I wasn't really shadowy friend, and they ominous don't shoot and try toxic to attack goo you... At you? What kind of friendship would we have, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's a letter from Coco. Hey, Petunia. Can you feel the wind in your fur? As the weather gets colder, everything begins to slow down in the wild. Take some time to stock up on prey and herbs before the snow begins to fall, and you'll thank yourself later. Also, keep an eye out for wild mushrooms. I have no idea how people feel about mushrooms. Champ is the berry nose of cattails, and like berry nose, I like them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a berry nose fan in the chat. He's funny! <laughs> Why do I do this when I do this? I don't think he's nice. I, I do think that berry nose is funny. I, I I guess I'm, I've got some disappointments about Barry Nose, mostly surrounding well, the way he died. It's, um... Yeah. <laughs> but as far as, like, childhood rival characters that we've had, I think Barry Nose is my favorite execution of it. Can 
he has enough of a life outside it that I can totally see where he got these ideas. And he's just got random funny elements and little moments of bravery and <laughs> he's a cute, funny little man. <laughs> I just don't want you to ever have a mate again, please. Uh, he's in Starkland, and yeah, he probably but they has can have mates there. there. I don't think Starkland cats can have kids, but they, uh, like <laughs> they can, they can probably have mates, or there wouldn't be a debate about who J Graystripe would choose in Starkland. You know, I <laughs> I anticipated. I don't I don't know what I anticipated. Doesn't really feel like much has changed between us. That's good. I was worried it would get awkward. You ever stumble across a beehive? They're always swarming with bees. Who knew? Those little suckers will defend the hive with their lives. I heard Crampy talking about how bee stings can actually be good for you. I don't know. That sounds dumb to me. Like I'm going to intentionally let them sting me. No, thank you. I don't trust any cat that never takes off their mask. You never know what might be hiding underneath. Crabby could be a dog for all we know. Doesn't that worry you? Finally, somebody who gets it. <laughs> well, that's why we're dating Charlotte. That's why we're dating Charlotte, not Crampy. No mask. <laughs> oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. It almost feels like she's starting to get a little sarcastic with us on this front. Giving <laughs> her a daisy once a oh, day. Oh, neat, Petunia. She reminded me Crampy exists, though. We should talk to him so our friendship doesn't go down. I have the last 12 daisies you left for me in my den, but thank you for another one. Anyway. Greetings, Petunia. Allow me to assess your status. I diagnose you as a good leader. Now, what can I help you with? While I am accustomed to seeing many cats in the clinic, I don't often have visitors in my living quarters. Perhaps you can help me track down a leech that I lost yesterday. He slithered out of his jar on the shelf and plopped right on the floor. Surely he is still lurking about my bedroom somewhere. His bedroom, huh? <laughs> They are, they are something. They definitely are something. Most cats in this camp are something. <laughs> Let's give this frog to Glimmer. I'm sure they'll like it. Because you said that they would like it. <laughs> that That is my only source of information, yes. This has brightened my day. That much is crystal clear. All things are attuned to the whims of the universe. A gentle shower is welcomed, but a downpour is mo best avoided. The fickle rain can change in an instant and must be constantly monitored. Can we go to Glimmer's house now? We have to get them know get to know them better to go in Glimmer's house, but we do have to Yeah, I, I think it was three stars that you can go into the den? Hmm. I believe so. I still can't figure out your angle. I said this last time. Between you and me, I can't stand Spark. They're always so cheery and full of energy. It really annoys me. How can any cat be that peppy? It's all a show. Nobody is really that happy. Okay, new ship just dropped. <laughs> That's for me? Thanks. Alabaster isn't here yet, uh, but they're going to be the one who helps you with gardening and planting new crops to grow. Mm. I've got a second if you needed something, Petunia. Rain's good for something. It hides your scent and muffles your sounds. Of course, that works in reverse, too. Keep your wits about you, and we won't fall victim to the schemes of smarter cats. Guys, Spark of course, isn't that's a smarter child. cats like me. Um, Spark is an adult, uh, a young adult, but Spark is not a, is not a baby. Yeah, not not a child.
definitely acts too young for me to want to care to date her, but yeah, yeah. Um, Spark is a uh, they're they they're, they're an adult as confirmed by the creator of the game. So it's not like a, and we also don't know how old Garlic is. Thirty-three painted butterflies. Let's take out two of those so we can give one to uh, one to Buttercup and one to whoa, that's a moth. One to Buttercup and one to Spark. It was confirmed by the creator of the game, right? Or am I? I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should hang out today. I've got plenty of time. When I'm a bit older, I get to have my own business. It's a pretty big deal. I will take over for Ember and run the entire shop on my own. Alright, here you go. You're the best, Petunia. <clears throat> oh, I, I mean, if you have something to say, I guess I'll listen, but, but I don't have much to contribute. I'm not very interesting, but that's what everybody says. S sorry. Oh, were you looking for me? Why? Oh, how, how kind of you. Not to make Buttercup all frantic by, uh, <laughs> by going through the, 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 uh, the dialogue too quickly. The only yeah. ones that we really know the age of in any capacity are Talon, because Talon says... Keep over saying over they're old. They're old, <laughs> um... Obviously, Ember, because Ember uh, was in the first game and is old enough to have a child, which which kind of implies that there's like an older age bracket, because any cat that's from the first game, Ember, Coco, Jag, um, and Champ, right? Champ yeah, from yeah. The first game, Ember, Coco, Jag, and Champ are all in an older age demographic. So we and we don't really know the old the the younger ones. Um, and Talon might be older than the rest of them because uh, she keeps saying, I am an old person. <laughs> they, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> so Buttercup, I desperately want to give a hug. I, I mm -hmm. wish to become Buttercup's friends so that maybe they can get over the crippling anxiety, please. <laughs> wow, you just want to fix them, huh? No, 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 I want to encourage them to maybe go to Crampy and take some of those herbs. <laughs> By my beak, that's an amazing specimen! By your beak, Crampy? I guess... I'm sorry, I thought that was just a mask and you were a normal cat. <laughs> You're just going to stand there all day? Administration is just bossing people around. It's grunts like me who do the real heavy lifting around here. Don't you forget it. Wow. I don't remember what Talon likes, so I'm not going to give Talon anything. Cause oh, I Talon likes. Beat me up. Talon likes. Snakes, honeycomb, and strategy. If we actually can find any bees, um, Talon likes that stuff. Bee or honeycomb? Well, uh, like honeycomb from the bees. Mm, I'm not going to risk the bee then. Fair enough. Can take out a yellow firefly and give it to Jag. Everything's good around town today. Nothing new to report. You seem like a cat who loves the limelight. Cats like you are always chasing down glory and fame and all that. I think I'd be happy if all I ever did was a job well done. I'll live my life in the background. If I can make everyone else's lives better, I'll call that a life well lived. I think, uh, I think Jag uh, deserves to be selfish once in a while. <laughs> You really didn't have to, Petunia. Thanks. Everyone and their mother knows who you're going to be dating on your personal file. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> mm-hmm. They are a cool cat. Okay, they are! It's, it's really, like, I totally like, agree! I, I tried to date Jag in the first game and didn't really realize that, that Jag wasn't a, wasn't a love interest. Wasn't yeah. So it's, 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 it's definitely in part just because... Uh, you're fulfilling a prophecy. You're doing something that you tried to do long ago. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it, 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 initially it was actually just that I um, I, I wanted to to make uh the the beef or cat have a kitten that looks like the leaf or cat, uh, from <laughs> the original uh, Untold Tales, 
Um, and Jag was the yellowest option. <laughs> Clearly That's an interesting way here. to start uh, liking the character. <laughs> oh, and for the record, because I saw someone at me about this, no, I do not want to drug my friend for their anxiety. <laughs> I want to <laughs> offer them a safe space in which they don't feel like they need to be panicking all the time. And if it turns out that medication would help and they would like medication for it, I can show them avenues to get it because we're also se fr semi-friends with Crampy local doctor guy i don't think crampy has mental health resources i'm just i'm okay, just, I'm yeah, just making that fair. assumption um based on the leeches uh, that's true no crampy is very bad about mental health you might need to go for like bob or something for that i don't know who who would bob be the best therapist fishing. oh my as far as who would best handle your mental health in this hmm. camp I mean, there are some like 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 like, like pleasant cats who aren't uh, who aren't particularly uh, 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 abrasive or, or avoidant of you. Like I, I guess Ellie and um, Laney oh. and Fliss. Granted, Laney, Laney and Fliss seem to have Fliss. their own issues between each other. Uh, yeah. Something I hope is in the, uh, is the is in the final game is um, uh, games like Harvest Moon and uh, and Stardew Valley they have uh, cutscenes between characters uh, mm. as your as your uh, relationship with characters evolve uh, there will be like um, th there will be cutscenes there will be events that you can walk in on things that you can see sometimes they're just funny or cute but I I think um, I think that benefits largely to like the understanding of the world and. Um, but liking the characters, getting along with the characters, especially if, um, as your relationship progresses, there you, you you learn more about them. Uh, th that's the kind of thing I'd want to see from this. Uh, when comparing it to something like Harvest Moon. Uh, my favorite uh, Harvest Moon game is A Wonderful Life, and um, I guess uh, on some level, I uh, it's a lot like the other Harvest Moon games, but at the same time, it isn't. You know, but. Um, mm -hmm. No, no real, uh, no real Harvest Moon esque game has ever really mimicked a wonderful life well for me. Um, I, I, I guess in part it's because of the style. Most um, Harvest Moon esque games are going for like a Friends of Mineral Town kind of kind of appearance, and not you know the the CG town that's alive in um, in uh, a Wonderful Life, but I always think about like uh, in in another Wonderful Life. Uh, my favorite character is um, Muffy, I think I've mentioned before. Yes, um, yes. In, in Another Wonderful Life, you get these these cutscenes with Muffy on the uh, on the bridge, and she complains about her relationship problems. And there, there's just something there's something about that bit in particular that just really really endeared her to me. And it's funny because I had um, I had been playing the boy version. Okay, there, there's a Wonderful Life, and then there's another Wonderful Life. A Wonderful Life, um, you're a boy. In Another l Wonderful Life, you're a girl. And you can choose between three beautiful women uh, playing as the boy, and you can play, and you can choose between uh, three awful hobos um, playing as the girl. Because they... <laughs> I don't think they were planning on making a girl version of A Wonderful Life. I really just don't. <laughs> yeah. Because if you look at... I, I don't know... I, gosh, I, I don't know if I've shown you the love interest, but the bachelors in Another Wonderful Life are... A um a creepy old hippie who sits outside of his outside of his tent and oh, plays great. his guitar. Um, a uh, kind of mean older man who looks like an Elvis impersonator, and then this um lazy bad personality kid from the from the inn. Like all three of them are kind of unappealing Awful. options. <laughs> Just, just generally, and and every single one of them. Oh, well, okay, not every single one of them, but two of them. The relationship really just feels like they're taking advantage of you, like not not in a weird way, but in a like they're just like living on your farm and eating your food kind of way. And and that is how all the relationships work in a wonderful life. Like technically, they are just not contributing anything, and they're simply a gameplay element. But um. Th th these guys, they, they just, they just, they, like, they play up the fact that they do nothing much more than the girls do. 
um, in, in A Wonderful Life. I don't know where I'm going with this. I got really lost. But what I mean to say is, in Another Wonderful Life, um, there are a couple cutscenes that allow you to develop relationships with the girls that you could marry from the first game. And um, one of that is uh, is watching M Muffy getting sad uh, because because she has like, a bunch <laughs> of failed relationships. But it, it just it just always really endear endeared me to him, uh, her getting those um, getting those cutscenes and. Uh, and uh and and seeing her struggles in life uh and and it's funny too because uh <laughs> it means in the in the last game i was actively making her life worse by never marrying oh. her um, oh no ever <laughs> i think my brother did though so um i just i just Wait, think it's funny because did your brother go into your save file and marry them for you or no no, did... no 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 we had we, oh we had different save different files and memory he cards. also went for muffy and married yeah him. okay um Oh yeah, I'm giving people things. I'm giving people things because they're right. My yes. I have a vole. Who who is it that likes the voles? Is it Sham? Uh, vole. Uh, Coco and Champ like voles. Phantom's neutral, and that's it. Okay. Much appreciated. I'll be sure to put this to good use. The oh. use will be eating it. Full of themselves. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to talk to me. I usually keep to myself. Not that I don't like company or anything, I just tend to keep to myself. You have a big job to do, being the leader. I hope you can handle it. If I were the leader, I would probably take on way too much work and get stressed out. Time management isn't my strongest trait. Me neither, Phantom. Uh, Roboto Studios says, Would you ever do talking videos on things outside of Warrior Cats, like Clone Wars or the like? I would love to hear your thoughts on some Star Wars characters <laughs> with Kenobi if you're going into it. Um, I have some friends who would really, really like it if I did things <laughs> like that. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Star Wars. Um, okay, the only Clone Wars that I have seen um, is the 2D Clone Wars from when I was a kid. Uh, I know that after I was a child, I went. They went on to make newer, supposedly better Clone Wars. And you know what? I'm I'm pretty. I'm I am fully up for the idea of watching the new Clone Wars stuff eventually. Um, I, I think actually, uh, right now, um, right now I'm watching the Owl House for my cartoon slot, and then there's Star Trek Discovery for my not cartoon slot. So let me think here. Uh, <laughs> Well, I'll, con I'll consider watching the Star Wars, but I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to take any steps into doing talking about Star Wars, um, because I think, uh, the Star Wars fandom is, uh, okay, the Warrior Cats fandom is one thing, the Star Wars fandom is, like, it, I, I don't want to go there, <laughs> but, but I'll consider watching the Clone Wars, um, but yeah, catching up with the Owl House currently. We'll we'll see what cartoon I watch <sighs> after that. I I still need to watch the entire new season. Shoot. <laughs> oh, sorry for the unsolicited advice. I I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I've got a lot to do. Good seeing you. Um, we really. Oh, time to talk to Phantom again. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting you to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just love hunting at night. What time do you tend to hunt, Petunia? Oh my god, look at that cute face. Oh, That's Phantom's kind of cute, actually. Okay. Phantom looks like Ocelot. You know what? <laughs> Entire world turned around on Phantom. Um, they are they are kind of a pretty kitty. From they that are, face they alone. are. Um. <laughs> Ocelot, also kind of a pretty kitty. Yeah, uh, you, sh you should catch up with the Owl House. Uh, like, okay, um... This is gonna be this is gonna be an opinionated thing for me. Um, it's it's gonna be me judging uh, Disney cartoons. Uh, mm -hmm. So I uh, okay. So I I watched Amphibia, right? Mm -hmm. And um, Amphibia is. It's it, it like, like it starts out very slow, and it got better, right? Mm -hmm. But heavy, heavy butt here. Um, 
after catching up as far as I could on Amphibia, I went back to watching the Owl House because there were new episodes of that too, and I had gone quite a while yeah. without watching either of them. Yeah. And there is like like the Owl House is so much more interesting to me. <laughs> <laughs> like I haven't seen Amphibia, but I really loved the Owl House. Yeah, the, the season that was available when I saw it. I don't. I don't want to make them fight because obviously, um, two cakes, and I love cartoons. Mm-hmm. Like, like I'm not saying like, oh yeah, this one is so much better than the other one. The other one's not wa- worth watching. But like the, I I had gone basically a year without watching one of them. So, like like looking at um, <laughs> like going from one to the other, it's like oh wow. Um, this main character is so much nicer than that main character. <laughs> Not that that's like like my driving force or anything. I love Mean Girls, but um, I, I I just I like it when people are nice and they get along. I guess I, I yeah. guess I guess I, I feel more attached to characters who um, who seem like they legitimately enjoy the people around them. The only thing stopping me from catching up with the Owl House is that uh, I have pieces of four different series of Star Trek to watch now. (laughs) Oh, sorry to keep egging you on on that one. I honestly (laughs) think that you should just, um, that you should just sit down and watch Deep Space Nine. Uh, Not to, not to be all like, here, take more, but um, it's... Uh DS9 seems like a worthwhile show to do that on. I I would want to do the piecemeal with like original series, but DS9, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll go straight through, no problem. Do do the watch list for the original series, for sure. But Deep Space Nine, I think, maybe give it a little bit more time. Oh, sweet. Another for my collection. Okay, Fliss likes Sparrow. Some cats have already turned in for the night. You must be getting pretty tired, Petunia. Nope, we never sleep. It's important to get some sleep when you need it. My mind does a lot of processing overnight. Maybe dreams play a role in that. Either way, sleeping has a bunch of benefits for your health. I think it's funny that we accidentally switched Fliss and Lainey because obviously yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the voices that we're both using for Fliss and Lainey were, were, were intended for the other one. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Hey, I was watching you run around earlier. What do you do all day? Phew. It's about time I turned in for the night. My eyelids keep drooping. I've never once been one to st- I've never been one to stay up late. Me neither, Lanny. So, Lanny okay. likes Fliss, right? <laughs> I'm not... Uh, I'm not pretending? Lanny uh, likes marigold diming paintings and trout, yes. Okay, here Just we like go. Just like snake cleaning and mice. Oh, yeah, I have a great idea for this. Very My great idea thing. is that I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think we ran out of things to give, um, to give Charlotte. So we're going to talk to Charlotte, but then I'm going to go look for a flower in the woods. Yay! Doesn't really feel like much has changed between us. We said this before. You want a wolf spider? I have like a thousand of them. Seriously, they're starting to get in my way. Take it. Uh, well, what a romantic (laughs) gift, Charlotte. I, uh, I can't... Oh... I, uh, Thank you, Charlotte, for the lovely gift. We're very appreciative. What a what a beautiful wolf spider. I can't even eat it. What do I do with this? I guess, <laughs> you know what? It's a gift. It's a gift from yes. Charlotte. It's a beautiful gift. We need to be good examples for Petunia. We, we are grateful for gifts. We're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go here and put it at the foot of our bed. <laughs> it's our first gift from Charlotte. It deserves a place like that. Oh, wait. the key for putting something down again? (laughs) E. It's E. So I can't be in a place where I can use it. There we go. There we go. Right at the foot of our workout crystal ball room bed. (laughs) It will motivate us to um, not sleep at night. (laughs) Which we're not doing. For the record, I have no problem with spiders. (laughs) Uh, Someone asked my favorite Star Trek. It is Deep Space Nine. That's that's why I'm that's why I'm um, that's why I'm supporting the Deep Space Nine oh, yeah, so yeah. much. Very um, much so. That said, my favorite Star Trek character is Data. <laughs> but my That's second fair. favorite Star Trek character is Ezri Dax. So, 
Um, that's a spoiler. But, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. OG Star Trek I am only going to be watching because a family member insists that they love it and that I haven't given it a fair try with the four episodes I've seen. So... I'm going to get myself more educated before I say it's bad. <laughs> By the way, if you heard something earlier, I wasn't snoring. I was just resting my bad eye for a second. Talon does not doze off. I'm sure you don't, Talon. <laughs> I don't remember. I give up. <laughs> oh yeah, we were going to find something for Charlotte. Flower somewhere. Flower. So if you see any flowers, um, say moonkitty, moonkitty, moonkitty in the chat. And we'll be ten seconds late. And we'll be ten seconds late. Crab. Yeah, I have seen, um, the original Star Trek, all of it. I have seen The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, uh, Voyager and all of Enterprise, and um, now I am watching <laughs> Discovery for the first time. Um, I know I'm a couple years late on that one, but I wanted to watch all of the other Star Trek before I got to it, and I have, uh, which is nice. And um, Discovery has been good so far. Yeah, I've I'm enjoyed on it. episode five of the next season uh, of the second season is the next one I have to watch. How far did you get? Oh, we ju we just finished episode one because we needed to go cut birthday cake. I see. <laughs> Not to make this into the Star Trek stream or anything. <laughs> Star Trek, Wildwood Story. There we go. <laughs> I've put a little warning at the beginning of this video. Minor Star Trek spoilers. <laughs> it's good? I don't know if we've said any details about Star Trek other than it's good or it's bad. So now I'm curious though. Mm hmm Not to not to not to continue the Star Trek. Just continue on, it's perfectly um, fine. What are the original series episodes that your grandma wants you to watch? A uh, godmother, yeah. Um, I have not looked at the spreadsheet yet. I have it saved. Uh... The Naked Time, Tomorrow is Yesterday, Space Speed, City on the Edge of Forever, Amok Time, Mirror Mirror, I Mud, Journey to the Babel, The Deadly Years, The Trouble with Tribbles Again, uh, Let That Be Your Last Battlefield. I see. That's it. It's a longer list than I expected, though. Oh, well, I guess maybe it's a longer list than I expected, because... Uh... <laughs> for, for some reason, she actually likes the original series in Kirk. I, uh, uh, like, okay, I, I just, <laughs> I, I guess I just can't relate to solving all of your problems with either a speech about manliness or kissing. Yeah, not a massive fan of either of those either. Not to, not to water down the, 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 <laughs> the, 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 the personality of, um, one of the most beloved characters of all time in this way, but... <laughs> Is he? I kind of thought that was Picard. I mean, you would think it was Picard, but when you talk to people who like Star Trek, you'd, you'd instead think it was Spock. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are Spock's, the flowers? Spock's fine enough, Oh, I'm starving to death. Oh! Uh, yeah, uh, don't starve. That's an idea. Petunia doesn't have bottomless pockets. They fill up. It's true. Um, but Petunia After can carry at least a dozen squirrels. Way more than, say, a warrior cat's untold tales character can.
Lots of squirrels. Lots of squirrels. Maybe Charlotte likes squirrels. Who knows? I wonder what happens when we offend someone we're dating. Does, do they break up with us? I, like, do you oh. think that we can go below zero on dating and then get broken up with? I... I don't like that thought, but it could entirely be possible. That sounds oh. like something Petunia would do specifically. That's yeah. a, that seems exactly like something Petunia would do. That's why I'm worried. <laughs> Honey, we love you, but you're not always the greatest in impressions. <laughs> Remember how we taught you to always be grateful for a gift? Um, there, there are some gifts that people aren't always grateful for. Maybe we can buy daisies from the store. Oh wait, I think we tried that once and then we bought a rose and like the... Oh. Ah! We, we didn't try buying daisies though. We, we tried buying the, um, the, uh, girlfriend's flower. Yeah. Well, we also tried no buying a divorce flower. <laughs> Do you think I will um, die horribly if I attack this beehive for... I... Well, I think... Hi, Baloo. Oh, boy. Uh, I think there is... Uh, it's entirely possible that uh, you will take damage. That said, it might be worth it because Talon's great at that stuff. Oh, boy. Alright, well, okay. we did. You have a bee. I ha that's my second bee, of, in fact. There we go. Oh, honeycomb! Honeycomb. We can give it to Talon. And... I, I, I like Talon. I think um, Talon's got kind of like a... Like a Steven Universe Jasper kind of appeal. Not not a kind of personality, but the, the same appeal. You there, Sonny? Yes, yes, okay. sorry, I was reading chat for a minute. <laughs> Not to expect you to immediately respond to my comparison, <laughs> like, come yes, on, sorry. Sonny. No, I... <laughs> I am your streaming partner, I should be here as uh, entertainment <laughs> back and forth. Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> You did nothing wrong. Read the chat, please, I can't. Uh, yes, you can be poisoned. As far as I'm aware, uh, there are several different status effects you can get in this game. Um, I don't know all of them. I was very poisoned earlier. Yeah, you were very, very poisoned, and also being attacked at the same time, which did not help. Um, be bees aren't to be messed with, especially as a cat and not a much larger human. I'm so used to like like Animal Crossing dragonflies running all over the dang place that I uh, that, that I see the dragonflies in here and I go, ooh, they're so easy to catch. No. <laughs> but but they are like. <laughs> you just well. Up. I I can tell you. Uh, I I think the actual adapting to getting good at hunting thing is going to take a tad longer for me when I get to my own personal file. <laughs> well, I I think um. I don't think it's too difficult, I just think I'm bad at gaming. This is all one-handed for me. Um, this is like, like, like this has been left-handed gameplay the entire time, and I think that kind of contributes to me being bad at fighting, but uh, I'm just I'm just very not ambidextrous, you know? Uh, maybe I should, maybe I could reroute everything to my right hand and <laughs> it would solve some problems. Well now, what's been going on today? Been on any fun adventures? Well now, thank you very much. That just made my day. Uh, yes. Finish your line first. I've been having a good time fishing. Doesn't matter what season it is, there's always a place to fish if you know where to find it. The uh, sliding bar option when you're hunting uh, is, I believe, an optional feature that we selected at the beginning of the game. It was uh, hunting style that was the uh, quick time event, rather than the name of the other one. Um, it, but I think it, it's there was like an a random to... coin flip, the other yeah. option. There, there was an option to not do that. Hmm.
See, I remember what some people like. Oh wait, Snake Lily. That's <gasps> um, yeah. That's no, I'm pretty. I'm pretty dang yeah. sure that's a Charlotte thing. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Like a really, really Charlotte thing. More so than Daisy. Daisy's item. Oh yeah. Daisy's item. Imagine. Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. All right, so they're on the same level as Daisy's, but. It's, it's... Well, there's there's only one level of like, but like this this is a nice rare flower. I do I like I, I do wonder what's gonna happen when you actually get to the point where you can marry someone in this one. But uh, in the demo specifically, because I'm not really sure what the limits are. Hello, Petunia. I uh, trust that you're staying busy today. What a glorious day. Not a cloud in the sky. Make the most out of it, Petunia. Did we, uh, did we get any hints onto what Phantom likes? Phantom! Uh, likes finches, peppermint hunting, and thrushes. Alright, Neutral on mush, uh, mice and voles, dislikes frogs and formality. And here I am, holding a frog. I'll give it to Glimmer. Oops. All things are attuned to the whims of the universe. Deep in yourself is the wellspring of intuition. When you are ready, you will be able to tap in into it on a moment's notice. It requires much practice to get it right. All right, so, all right, yeah, I accidentally dropped the frog instead of giving it. Yep, Glimmer love frog. Oh yeah, Talon. Not to be all over the place going up and down. And up and down. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'll gladly take it. Let's go in Talon's house. Yay! Yeah. What's we... Talon's house like? Oh boy. Um, is this a board uh, thing? I I believe that's that's a war board. Hmm. Talon. Hmm. I I hope you're planning wars for us. Calendar, trunk. Who made this stuff anyway? This cat-sized chair. It's a fair question. Um, I don't know. What do cats do with cat-sized chairs? Sit on them. I think this object is actually on the floor in Garlic's house. So maybe Garlic is a is a criminal mastermind. <laughs> new, new, new ship just dropped. Um. Glimmer's face is indeed wonderful. <laughs> All of the portraits are lovely. I love them so much. Hey, what's your secret? You really do believe in yourself, don't you? I've got to admit, when I first met, when we first met, I thought you were faking it. it. Must be nice to have that sort of trust in your abilities. If you figure out how you did it, let me know, okay? Here you go, garlic. That's for me. Thanks. Wait. The frog is what Glimmer likes, and I just gave it to Garlic. Oh, yeah, no. Well, but Garlic, Garlic likes it. thistle and stuff. Uh, yeah. I'll just give Spark a dragon. What? I will mark this down. We should hang out today. I've got plenty of time. Can't wait for the next battle. This time I'll show them who the fastest cat is. They can't hurt me if they can't touch me. You're the best, Petunia. People are shipping Glimmer X Frog. X Frog. Garlic X Frog has also oh. passed through a couple times, but mostly <laughs> Glimmer X Frog. <laughs> How is Glimmer gonna react? <laughs> Probably the same way we, we reacted to the crab. Garlic. <laughs> well, the, the crab is with us in our hearts, as you can see. It, it was having a relationship with the crab that allowed us to get better and move on to more developed relationships. The Grave We Dig, Season 1, Episode 5, A Flickering Flame. 
Three moles stumble in the dark beneath the earth. It is pitch black, and nothing can be seen but the dim reflections of a distant light against their tiny black eyes. Oh boy, a mole show! <laughs> oh, I completely forgot which moles were. <laughs> which well, was we avoided the bat swarm, but now we're stuck in this unbearably dim cave. I wish we would have had brought something along to help us see. Let's brainstorm together, gang. What can we do about the dark? We could cry. Oh no. We could just keep digging and let our nose be our guide. We could head back up to the surface and buy a light source of some kind. What's that? In the vague shadows of the far end of the cave, a flame can be seen hovering in midair. Or we could head over to that fire. Maybe it's an old mining lantern, still burning with a wheel? The three moles approach, and the light oscillates between a bright, brilliant green fire and a sickly pale flicker. Oi, Molar, that's no lantern. That's a dark candle. Nasty vermin they are. It'll hunt us down and shoot at us if we don't keep our distance. Too late. It's coming this way. What are we gonna do? Uh, Moz, you distract it. I'll hide behind that boulder there. When it passes by, it'll be lights out for the dark candle. Great plan, boss. Oi, dark candle, come and get me! And so the threat of the dark candle was dealt with by our intrepid adventuring moles, but they are still shrouded in utter darkness. How can they go on? Tune in next week to find out. Hmm. We have a television pod. <laughs> <laughs> the chat has gone off the deep end no we're just having shipping wars through the whole chat now mostly with animals <laughs> animals and animal non objects non cat animals and cats meep is in fact the moon kitty mole version of buttercup yes oops <laughs> this is fine no that's correct their right, name is it? meep Wrens, sparrows, or thrushes that that phantom likes. Wren, sparrow. Uh, jag is neutral and sparrow. Sparks neutral and sparrow. Thrush. Um. <clears throat> dislike. Uh, phantom likes thrushes. Uh, champ hates thrushes. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember Champ's preferences. <laughs> but I'm gonna give this to Phantom. And then I'm gonna go outside and catch my meal. A good choice, yes. We are running low on health. Oops. Thanks, I will store this in my den for now. God, look at that look. Yeah, no, Phantom really does look like Ocelot, like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there are definitely several <laughs> Ocelot characteristics here. Uh, I see you've brought me something. Granted, Phantom, Phantom seems a bit more feminine than Ocelot does. Right, buddy? Never mind, he's not gonna respond. <laughs> oh wait, I was gonna go hunt for my food. Not taking anything out of storage when I can simply manifest it out of the wild. Or purchase it. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm glad that the storage holds so much stuff. Maybe it doesn't in the real game. I don't know, but... It's I, good now. Yeah. I currently appreciate it. Makes me want to just stock up on all sorts of things. Yeah, if you guys see any of those paw prints, just let me know and I'll, um, I'll do my best. Go and get a paw thing. Paw of power. I've forgotten the exact name. Power paw. Power paw! 
power paw. There we go. Not paw of power. Also, if we see any of those statues that are going to give us a quiz about cat and or cat tail. <laughs> Immediately head straight for those. Those are fun as heck. I think there was actually one in the face. If we go, um... There, there, there was one with a face if we go over this way-ish. Okay, guys, I ate. I promise. I ate the food. <laughs> food has been consumed. And, uh, and, uh, we, we still have uh, extra empty space in our belly for, uh, fun. <laughs> yep. Was over near like the rooms area. I think that's up from here actually. No, maybe over here. I don't know. I saw a rock somewhere. That's all I'm saying. A rock to give us a quiz, a seasonal quiz. A quizly rock. Not that I can claim to be. Oh. Oh. Huh? That's uh, not how a firefly is. That's not to how fireflies work. Black fireflies uh, <laughs> actually glow darkness. I guess so. What an interesting talent. <laughs> You'd think maybe it would be more something like UV instead, but... <laughs> See, uh, the chat, the chat seems to want me to go, uh... Want me uh get to the go spicy take juice again? Take yeah, no, they've been calling it out in waves for the whole stream. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, this is We've the first. gone an hour without tasting the spicy juice. I I think that's a win for me. Hmm. Anyone can go an hour without tasting the juice. Really? When it's right in front of you? You know the uh, social experiment with uh, a marshmallow. A marshmallow. Where, uh, uh, so kids are offered a marshmallow. And uh, the adult tells them that they are going to leave the room for 15 minutes. And when they come back, if the child has not eaten or even touched the marshmallow, they will get two marshmallows. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometimes it's like, this? sometimes it's also like a slice of cake and you'll get a whole cake. Uh, some increase in item that they would like to consume. Mm -hmm. um, and that it's uh, very common for uh some children to just eat the marshmallow and be done with it and say i i don't want to wait 15 minutes and that uh some will also taste the marshmallow and lie about it and this is a sizable portion <laughs> and this is meant to test like, whether or not children like, lie i guess lick it or something like yeah yeah well it was easier to do with the cake example because they would end up having like crumbs or tiny bites um but usually with the marshmallow it's like lick put down <laughs> when I was a kid I would like, like, like I would never you know yeah yeah like like okay I would lie obviously yeah I'm no one very very lie. much liked to lie <laughs> as a child but um not because uh not 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 <laughs> Like if I if I was instructed to do something and and there was like a like a like a like like like, like the, the kids were said said there was a reward right they were told oh yeah yeah they were told if they can wait fifteen minutes in a room alone with nothing to entertain them and don't touch the marshmallow they get two marshmallows their reward doubles I mean 
the reward sucks, obviously. Marshmallows well, yeah. in general kind of suck. <laughs> I don't like marshmallows. But, this test wouldn't work on me. But. but just in general, like, if it was something I liked, even as a kid, I it, knowing that I was eventually going to get it, I would probably... I would probably, um be able to handle that i mean i guess it depends on how old i am like 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 hypothetically yeah. how old are these children um so i believe they were somewhere in the range of six to eleven i i don't remember the exact age range this was done on mm. it has been a while since i saw it yeah that seems a little old to not have that level of restraint maybe maybe well... i'm overestimating children um they're, they're well you're sideways estimating children. They're more advanced than you think in some ways. Um, literal newborn children are capable of lying to you, uh, but they're uh, more inclined to do things that you would hope they aren't. <laughs> That's correct. S'mores are the only case in which marshmallows are good. Hmm. That's correct. Uh, the, the case in which I enjoy a marshmallow is when it's been, like, fire-roasted and I can, like, peel the burnt skin off and eat that. Ah, uh, um, you're one of those people. Oh, one of those people! Oh my goodness, <laughs> Sunny Fall. Yeah, okay, I'm no. sorry. I, that sounded awful. I, <laughs> I, I was a Girl Scout for 14 <laughs> years. I learned different browning settings of marshmallow that I could cook on command for different people's preferences. Uh, I, I had six different browning settings and flat out chuck it in the fire and peel off the burnt bits uh, was level six. <laughs> okay, but like my 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 fascination with the burnt bits and with the, the 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 marshmallows and roasting the marshmallows isn't really the eating the marshmallow. That's very very secondary to playing with fire. Like okay, that's fair. But playing like, with like fire a definite, is fun regardless. A definite second place to playing with fire. And the, the marshmallow getting lit on fire and pretending you like it because because you like peeling the skin off and eating it, and not <laughs> just because you like having a portable ball of fire, um, yeah, yeah, is, of course, um, is an exercise in my flavor of childhood lying. In that case, um, I give you as an alternative a uh, single serve baked Alaska. You're doing what to the entire state of Alaska? No, 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 no. Baked Alaska. It's it's where you take a, a, a scoop of ice cream or a dome of ice cream, uh, coat it in uh, uncooked meringue, or able to be eaten, but still soft meringue, and blowtorch it so that it gets all crispy around the edges, and you uh, just have a flaming ball of fire that has ice cream on the inside. Hmm. It's fun. I think I once read a book, it was called uh, Looking for Baked Alaska, and, uh, oh, wait, no, I don't think that's true. The correct thing to do with marshmallows, of course, though, the absolute best thing outside of s'mores, is take a peep and chuck it in the microwave. There's so many things you can do with that. <laughs> I did, I actually, I actually microwaved a peep, and then after the peep was out of the microwave... Uh, it was like it solidified so quickly into an evil yes. brick, and Correct. I was like, "Oh, it ruins." You don't the microwave. Peep. It yeah, ruins yeah. The peep to microwave it, and then I very like yeah. begrudgingly um, still ate the peep because I was oh. like, "Well, I can't waste this. Like, I can't just oh. microwave this peep and then not eat it." So we I oh, um, no no. <laughs> so I ate the it's microwave peep, and I like like peeled it off of the plate and like crunched it like. Yeah, the, the, definitely different opinions on this one. As far as I'm concerned, peeps are an entertainment device. Um, they're they're not edible. Um, before or after the microwave, it's just far too much sugar. Um, so, you know, you microwave it, you have your fun, and you put your crispy brick into the garbage can. Also, sorry if you guys can hear cats eating. Um, not to make this into Moon Kitty's ASMR stream, uh, it's dinner time, <laughs> and uh, they are eating their food. 
in, in and uh, Ocelot and Pepper get locked in my room to eat, um, and Alphador eats outside my room because uh, otherwise uh, Alphador will eat Ocelot and Pepper's food, which is made out of fish. And we learned recently that if Alphador eats fish, he has lots of issues. So he has to stay away from the fish. Like a child who is allergic to peanut butter and cannot go into the lunchroom. Okay, for anyone who has never micro microwaved a peep, do in your lifetime. It doesn't have to be right now, but I think it's someone I think it's something everyone needs to experience in their lifetime. It's it's just Good old childish fun. <laughs> also, someone earlier uh, corrected me and said uh, most of the uh, marshmallow type experience were around the ages of four to five, mm. which is entirely possible. I believe that. Um, again, I haven't fact checked it. Fact checked it myself. It's been roughly two and a half, three years since I read the experiments myself. Um, was this entirely a, possible. part of a, like a college course? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ch child psychology was one of the things that you needed to take in order to even be eligible for the education courses, so mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't find that statue. I swear it was in the left side of the map somewhere, but oh, what's this? Oh, yo, guess what? Sure, oh boy. I'll read this. Oh no! <laughs> Champ says, yo, this is uh, canon. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, guess what day it is? That's right, it's that time of year again. It is the birthday of the one and only yours truly, Champ. You better have already picked out an awesome present because my standards are higher than ever. Rock on, champ. Are you a rocker, dude? Heck, champ. I'm learning so many things about you. Petunia. There is much activity in the Wildwood. Dangerous wildling cats have been approaching far too close for my liking. I have dealt with the threat for now, but be on your guard. I have attached proof of my work. Respectfully, Talon, and she sent us fucking void marrow. <laughs> Uh, for the record, apparently there's a paw we missed. I, I don't oh. know. Someone just shouted it. Oh no, we missed a paw. <laughs> we might have missed a paw. All right. What do we got in our inventory that... True? True? He likes true? Uh, g give me a second because he might also hate true. Do you like true? Do you hate true? Uh, no, he loves true. He loves true. Okay. Give true. Birthdays are great benchmarks for progress. I crushed my goals this year. Here's to another great one. Cool. I can probably find a place for this. I've heard it said that on your birthday, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. I'd chalk it up to the power of positive thinking. Oh, I must have sworn. I swore. What did I say? I, I don't know. I actually didn't notice. I always feel a bit luckier when I'm celebrating. Do you think there's something to that? Oh, yeah. Uh, you might have said a bad word. Uh, I literally didn't catch it. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not your fault. <laughs> it's not like you can undo my 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 my, my, <laughs> my voice. <laughs> Oh. oh, apparently you said the F word to Oops. the void, Marrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you, you probably said Talon sent us effing the void, Marrow. I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm so sorry. I'm so careful in my video. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I won't be privating this, but um, you all have to forgive me. Please forgive her. Hey, if you want to go on a little adventure, I just received a tip about a giant patch of catnip hiding in the woods. I say we track it down and eat it all on sight. Ah, uh, but we can't take her up on her offer. Yeah. I want to go with them to the catnip.
Let's uh let's get Charlotte a uh, snake lily. Moon Kitty definitely said that Talon sent us some fun voice marrow. I mean void marrow. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's uh Okay, if you're sure you want me to have it, I'll take it. Oh, look at that. Two hearts! Yeah! You always have something to say, don't you, Petunia? Got any stories? When we first met, you probably thought I was off-putting. Most cats do. You probably told yourself I'd warm up to you, or whatever. Most cats do. It must have been quite a shock to learn that I'm genuine. No tough guy front here. I'm rude to everybody. It's not a performance. I assume that if you had if I assume that if you had a problem with you, you would have left me alone a long time ago. But hey, if you can get over it, then I'll hang with you until you decide otherwise. Doesn't matter to me. I'm going I'm going to assume that if you had that a problem with you, is probably a typo. <laughs> a typo. I'd imagine yeah. <laughs> that they meant if you had a problem with me. Me, then um, you would have left me a long time ago. I'll hang with you until you decide otherwise. We're dating, Charlotte. You're going to hang with me until you decide? Oh, come on. Hanging, <laughs> dating, it's basically the same thing. I wouldn't hang out with anyone I'm not dating. By the way, I'm dating the entire camp. I only hang with people who have already committed to me romantically. <laughs> <laughs> Some cats just want to run around catching bugs and swimming in the lake. They don't understand the sacrifices that I have to make so that they can enjoy their lives. Don't they see how much more important the grass-eating kingdom is than their own wants and desires? I'm very proud that you're so passionate about the grass-eating kingdom. Thank you, Talon. I want to get leaves. I want to collect leaves. Oh, and leaves. Let's get Jag of Firefly. Wait, not for not for you. <laughs> Everything's good around town today. Nothing new to report. You really didn't have to, Petunia. Thanks. I genuinely think Jag and Talon need to start getting along. They both care about security. <laughs> they don't need to be shipped or anything. They just talk they to each other. Just <laughs> Earlier today, I stopped a snake from slithering into town. Nasty critter tried to waltz right in. Would have had everyone in a frenzy, no doubt. Just another day in the life of Jag, fearless defender of the grass-eating kingdom. You know, I think they would be competitive with each other. I think, uh, yeah, of course. I, I think the ideal Jag-Talon relationship is one where they're directly competing, you know? Yes. Because, like, I, I'd imagine that, that Jag's, Jag's way of protecting the kingdom is definitely very, like, a... Uh, calculated and precise and rule abiding and like, like, like just, oh yeah yeah like, like, like generally uh, more uh, a, a more calm intelligent way of going about it and then I'd imagine Talon goes out there and just rips everything to shreds and screams about it what's up Petunia something on your mind I was wandering in the woods earlier and smelled the most delectable catnip scent, but try as I might, I could not locate the elusive plant. If you stumble across some, do let me know. I just, so, you know the uh, song, Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily those words exactly, but I think that energy needs to be Jag and Talon's relationship. Yeah. We're gonna make an A yeah. and B, Sonny. Uh, I can't animate, so no. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna experiment by giving Ellie this fly. 
Oh boy. I I will I appreciate the thought. Yeah, okay, neutral. And neutral. That was a damselfly. dandelion fly? Southern yeah. damselfly. Oh, southern damselfly, okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to talk to me. I always say this every time you talk to me. You have a big job to do, being the leader. I hope you can handle it. If I were the leader, I would probably blah 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 as you get stressed out. Sorry for the unsolicited advice. I, I don't know why it is, but Phantom feels like, out of all of the cats, Phantom feels like um, they uh, repeat the same thing the most. Yeah. Oh, and were you looking for me? W why? Hey, Petunia. I was hoping you'd come by. I just found a really nice mouse, and I wanted you to have it. Hope it makes your day a little brighter. Oh, oh you're adorable. Sweet. That was so cute. Eating it. Y yummy! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Petunia. Out running errands? If shopping is on your list, I can help with that. Blue skies as far as the eye can see. Should be a nice day for knocking out your to-do list, Petunia. Do, do you sell daisies? It doesn't look like I it. don't know why you would, but yeah. <laughs> I feel like half of my love for Buttercup comes from that one sprite where she just looks up with her eyes closed and <laughs> has a big old smile. It's just so cute! Let's see what stuff we can, um, sell. Just all of our extra business, I guess. These mushrooms seem like they'd be good for it. Just stuff that we, uh, we don't have, like, particular, uh, quote-unquote customers for. And then I'll um, see if I can't get that bigger backpack. Mmm, good idea. It has been a while since we sold anything. So yeah, this might not be a bad idea at all. Just have a lot of junk, you know. Right, well, well let's see how much that'll sell us for. Don't worry, guys. If I run out of food, I can literally just go outside and, and find something to eat pretty much immediately. I'm not worried about that. Don't sell too much food or you might starve over the winter. Uh, fair point. I don't know if fish will be accessible in the winter, but that would probably be our best bet. Well, we could always buy things from Ember, too. It's true, yeah. But what I really want to buy from Ember is roomy pockets. Yes, please. My inventory has been updated. So, um, I'm guessing that gave me more slots, question mark? For the things that I pick up off the ground? I didn't read the description before I bought it, I just wanted more space. So let's, uh, let's try putting a whole bunch of stuff in our pockets. Yep, seven of everything. Instead of five. It's Lovely. Hello, Petunia. I trust that you're staying busy today. If you come across a strange red mushroom with white dots, be careful. You never know what they might do if you eat them. Why are you warning me about these very specific mushrooms if you don't know? What do these mushrooms do? Coco, please! A mysterious red cap mushroom that comes in many varieties. Some are safe, some are not. Who knows what eating it might do? Oh, the, the, you literally don't know. Okay. They're the mystery mushroom. <laughs> ah! Okay, I am catnipped, <laughs> and I am... Let's go talk oh, to people. Boy. Hey, Coco, we did that thing you told us not to do. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Keep up the good work, <laughs> What a glory. 
this day, not a cloud in the sky. Make the most of it, Petunia. Coco. Oh, Coco no. Coco my body and stretch it. Coco. <laughs> uh, help. <laughs> Coco, this was a bad time. <laughs> it's still like this. <laughs> It's, it's still getting like this worse. Oh no, uh, oh, wait, Charlotte. It's going away. Okay, <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> hey, Charlotte. Uh, we just went through something real weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. It, it, it's just a. Who knows what it might do? Well, I think I have. Let's some try ideas. it. Immediately eat it. <laughs> <laughs> what else a lot? You got I love that's a lot. I okay, I didn't tell her to eat the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sonny, I can't believe that you instructed me to go eat that mushroom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Heh. Skills. Yes, Ocelot does sound so cute. Ocelot consistently sounds so cute. He's really cute so, until he bites you. Well, yeah. For attention. <laughs> and and don't don't think for a second that he doesn't get enough attention. Oh no, he gets plenty. <laughs> but he only wants attention, especially when you can't give it at that moment. Yeah. So if I'm recording, if I'm streaming. Um, he, he, I, I don't know what it is, he, he knows the tone of voice that I start using when I'm doing a character specifically, and that makes him, uh, run over and go, ah. yeah. <laughs> what is your problem, boy? Just, does anyone see that stone? Has anyone seen that stone? I want to take my quiz. I haven't. <laughs> Pretty small for a perfect, uh, perfect chance there. I think the size of them is based on the rarity and the uh, uh, perfect mm -hmm. or not is based on your distance yeah. from the creature when you pounced, yeah. Uh, Queen of the Night in the Bushes, in said the bushes. someone. In the bushes. I don't know what bushes, but the bushes. Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna look for the bushes. Queen of the Fireflies in the bushes. Found Queen of Firefly. In the bushes. What's that? No? Oh, what are you? Maybe it was in the last area we were in. There, there's quite a bit of stream lag after all. It could be, yeah. I could sit is, here. Is it this? Is it something up there? I don't know. What is that? Oh, it's a bunny. It's a bunny from above. Alright, I'm gonna look down here. Uh, and assume that this was- th that the bushes were in this area. Because I think this is the area we were in before. I think we got a snake lily, that's pretty good. Ooh! Yeah, someone said it was in the last map tile we went in. So. so this one? Hypothetically. Okay. Above the river, said someone. Oh, where our friend is? That sounds great. I love having friends. Friends are great. Everyone should have some friends. Oh, so many friends. Hmm. 
Is this the bushes? I don't know what the bushes are. I need Chia's bear friend. Oh. Uh, This is going to be one of those times where you just have to time stamp, stamp it and tell us there. It's that thing. I'm really good at not getting this, this flower. <laughs> the chat the chat knows what it looks like and, and knows where to look. But Chat knows all at this point. You know, it could have been that we were over here before. So I'll look over here. Wait. No, that's not it. Oh, on the island, said someone? On the island. I don't know. Maybe it despawned? <laughs> okay, I don't know. let's go, let's go. Going back to the island. I have no, it's, I, I have no idea what's happening anymore. <laughs> Alright, so we got a Valerian, a Golden Seal. Was this stuff on the island beforehand? I don't know. Alright, you know what? I've, 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 I've got something to figure out here. Wait a second. Oh! <gasps> oh, more importantly, eyes. And this is not the one for this time around. Oh, shoot. Uh, there's another one up by the lava. Did we do that one yet? I think so, yes. Yes. Okay, so there's one... There should be one for the fall somewhere. But it's not that one. Which, uh, I'll try to remember that the winter one is here. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, there's a button mushroom there. If I go up and go back down, there's still a button mushroom there. Okay. So, hypothetically, it probably doesn't despawn immediately after leaving? Hypothetically. It's... Hypothetically. But we're also quickly moving towards daytime, and it definitely would probably despawn then. mark down there oh we're getting towards the hungry margin to okay. the point that people are reminding us eat puts food down instead of eating it <laughs> all right let's see if we can get this we can what is it minnow okay was that the question mark yes it was okay You know who we haven't met, if we're supposed to meet them at all? Alabaster? No, the, uh... Oh. The, the guardian Oh, the, of the forest. forest guardian, yeah. My assumption is that, uh, they'll be a fairly large part of the old game, but they seem to be in charge of the forest temple, mm -hmm. which we don't yet have. Which makes sense, because the Forest Temple is where they were putting a lot of the Kickstarter rewards. Yeah. Uh, interesting, though. I do wonder if the, if the cats you start with are the, the, the cats from the old game. Entirely possible, considering you could have taken them with you. But Jag also seems like they, they, they're acting like they fleed themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so they might come later. I'm not sure. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to talk to me. I usually just keep to myself, because I say this every time. 
You know me well, Petunia. Thank you. I will remember this kind gesture. Okay, so it looks like Phantom more than likes the dove. Very, very likes dove. If you don't mind, I was actually hunting. I know you're trying to be talking to blah blah blah. We've said this before. Okay. I think I have a snake lily in here for Charlotte. Yes. Oh, they say you can meet the forest guardian. Go to the temple and camp. We'll, we'll see in a minute. Okay. You always have something to say, don't you, Petunia? Got any good story? Wait, wait, I'm not Charlotte. I'm not Charlotte. <laughs> You always have something to say, don't you, Petunia? Got any good stories? Okay, if you're sure you want me to have it, I'll take it. Man, I'm going to give off such a weird energy when I'm older. I want to be that weird old cat that lives in a hut and comes out once a year and wears stupid stuff. If all the kittens in the kingdom are scared of you, that's how you know you've made it. I guess so. <laughs> that sounds like a great life. You go for it, Charlotte. Okay, the temple in the kingdom. Temple in the kingdom somewhere. Is it? Is it up here? Is this? Is this? This what we're talking about? I don't know. <laughs> no, this is the festival. That's the plaza. festival plaza. Uh, I don't know where the temple is. Okay, well, let's 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 take a take a closer look at all the buildings around because I just assumed everything yeah. was somebody's house. Okay, so we have um, this. Is this the temple? And is not... that that might be the temple? I thought I this was Coco's know. house. I'm sorry, I, guys. I I, I legitimately yeah. just believed that's where Coco lived. I hope you found enough to do around here. We all need to do our part to ensure the su success of the kingdom. There is hunting, building, socializing, exploring. Lots to do, but so little time. Okay, I, I apologize, everyone. I thought this was Coco's home. I thought Coco lived in this house. Yeah, no, this is definitely Temple of the Forest Guardian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie uh, doopsie. Shows what I know. <laughs> okay, so e even though this is the third stream, we're going inside. Seven hours house. into this let's play, we're finally seeing the <laughs> person who got us here. Cool. Yep. There's. There's. Yep. Forest there. There. There they are. Right there. Yep. Hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> Can you romance the forest guardian? That would be very weird. I don't think so. Greetings, Petunia. You have come to seek my guidance, have you not? In times long ago, this region of the world was known simply as the Wildwood, and so Wildwood shall it be called once more. As I stretch my gaze out across the land, I can detect faint traces of catfolk who once dwelled in this area, and stranger signs still. What is the answer to these riddles? It is a mystery to unravel, no doubt. With your help, I believe we can discover the meaning. Alright, um... You want a mushroom? <laughs> you want a mushroom? You bring me an offering. It is acceptable. Okay, well... Cool, I, I guess okay. They, they don't have, like, like, a star rating, so... Like I'll put it down anyway, just in case. <laughs> uh... Gigantic blue lioness finds button acceptable. <laughs> Alright, nothing, no, it can't go over there yet. Can't go over there yet. Uh, sorry, everyone. Uh, this was here. This <laughs> gigantic, semi-transparent blue <laughs> Gigantic temple been, we um, totally could have entered at any time. Has been sitting <laughs> sitting in the middle of camp this whole, Oopsie -doopsie. whole time. What's up, Petunia? Something on your mind? It's mushroom hunting season. Yuck. Some cats go crazy for them, but I think they're nasty. I don't even like walking near a mushroom. 
Let me see if I knew that already, uh, Eli. Don't they kind of freak you out, too? Ellie? Ellie. Not Eli. Ellie. Okay, well, Eli doesn't like mushroom. But does not like mushroom. Does like... Does you like... What do we know uh, about? They, they like uh, blue jays, magpies, nap time, and mice. Let's see if they so like So potentially pigeon. bulls? Potentially pigeon. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, no, not carp. You know what? I'm just gonna click on the pigeon. There we go. No, I didn't mean to eat it! <laughs> Alright, well... I'm going to eat this pigeon right in front of you. <laughs> okay, new plan. How do you feel about mi uh da, da, da. uh mm. do they like fish? Do they dislike taste. a fish? Do they dislike a fish? Uh oh, they right. haven't yet disliked a fish, but who's to say? Okay. <gasps> they like fish. Okay. Okay. That was a carp. That was a carp. You like carp, you lie. Very nice to know. Alright. Jack time. Everything's good around town today. Nothing new to report. Or should I say, nothing new to report? Leaving my own colony, the Mountain Domain, was the hardest thing I've ever done. I haven't told anybody this, but things got very nasty after the earthquake. Our town was destroyed, and our leader, Leo, went off to find a new place to settle. We never saw Leo again. Went missing, they said. In the absence of our fearless leader, Leo's kid took over. A mean-spirited cat named Ursa, too young and in inexperienced to lead well, aggressive, bloodthirsty, nasty. I had sworn an oath to protect the mountain domain with my life, but the colony became unrecognizable under Ursa's command. I had to get out. I wouldn't let Ursa push me around any longer. So here I am. Jag Aww. backstory! That's really fun. Um, but on some level, it, it, it makes me, it makes me, um, long for a, a, a wider story, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, but, um, you know, like, 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 like this, 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 this idea, it, it, it introduces the concept of a character into my mind, you know, it, like, 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 Leo exists now. Of, um, the, the missing leader Leo of this potentially dangerous cat named Ursa who has a has a group of cats following him you know like the, like the, like the, the, these are these are interesting concepts now we got another honeycomb for talent don't we yep yeah more frogs for glimmer. Um, thistle for garlic. Snake lily for Charlotte. If we have any left. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't. I literally don't think you have the capacity to eat a brick. <laughs> if, whether or not I allowed it, I don't think you can eat a brick. <laughs> we do have some catnip though, and we can give that to, uh, Give that to Charlotte. All right, Helen. I've done my time serving my kingdom, unlike those young rapscallions, and I continue to serve because it's the right thing to do. Sometimes I think if I were in charge, I'd make every cat spend a couple years fighting out on the borders. There'd be a lot more understanding and respect if they did. Okay. Don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'll gladly take it. I like Talon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, people have been uh, asking us to get something for Buttercup as well. Okay. I think we already gave Charlotte something, but... You're trying too hard. It's not a good luck. You would say that to the person you're dating, Charlotte? Jeez. Alright, we'll we'll um, we'll get a butterfly out for uh, Buttercup after we give these presents out. All things are attuned to the whims of the universe. This lizard just screams Petunia. I want you to have it. Thanks. <laughs> 
I like having friends. I like having so many people around camp who actually like us. Instead of uh, cats who are like horrifically offended by our existence. <laughs> it's it's a treat, yeah. Also, someone is wondering if I could write a cat tales fic when Pause of Stars is over. <laughs> God, that sounds like a massive undertaking. <laughs> well, the, the, I think. I wonder if there are cat tales fan fictions. I've never looked. There, I've never. There might be. You know. Yeah. Maybe some cat tales like like cat X ray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look much into fan fiction in general. Yeah, I don't either. Um, but it's it's entirely possible. Oh boy, the first snow will start any day now. It's coming, Petunia. It always does. Then everything is cold and wet and awful for a while. My ultimate goal with garlic is to get them to be happy about one thing in their entire life. <laughs> Hello, Petunia. Out running errands? If shopping is on your list, I can help with that. Accounting work is boring, and I could use a break. Counting on your paws all day is a great way to zone out quick, if that's what you want. Oh, shoot, I just lost track. Now I'm going to have to start all over again. I, I think Ember and Spark are not as different as they seem, you know? No, they're not. All right, let's uh, let's get Buttercup that uh, that 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 bug before I forget. Yeah. Oh, someone can confirm there are at least eleven cattail fix on archive of my own. Eleven, huh? You guys can eleven than that. Come on. At least eleven. That might just be the first page or something. I don't know. <laughs> get to work. <laughs> the cattails fix. Get to work on all those cat tilts fix, guys. We need to expand this world. I guess I should get something for Champ, too, while I'm at it. Of course Ember is an accountant. They need to take the money. Well, accounting is part of their job as a shop owner, anyway. It's not their main profession. I am glad we're getting we're getting a little a few more stars with most of these guys. I know yeah. that we've been ignoring, like, Lainey and Fliss, um... I've got a second if you need anything, Petunia. You don't need it? You sure? I keep a pile of heavy rocks around so I can train with them. You wouldn't believe the gains you can get from picking up and chucking a couple big rocks every day. I need to head down to the river and find some more. That's where the best rocks come from. See, that's the part of Champ that is not me. That's, that's a not me part of Champ. <laughs> Champs the like part of dirt. Champ that sounds like they could be a uh, Animal Crossing jock villager is the not me. <laughs> do you see this? Do you see Champ's dirt bed? I do. It looks it looks like what he's done is that he's picked up the dirt from the ground and formed it into a pillow. Into a pillow, yeah. Just scuffled it up everywhere else because they were sleeping on it. Nice, nice window that you can't reach. Looking out the window <laughs> is only for those who have achieved the most gains. Well, I think the most gains involves things like jumping over the small dent in the wall. Champ also has a oh, unsittable chair. Champ's house is star-shaped. They're wow. a star. Yeah. Wow. Haven't you noticed they're a star? Okay. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> we've, we, we, we've been piling on the Steven Universe this summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you looking for me? Why? I hope I'm not in trouble. Usually when a cat wants to talk to me, it's to tell me that I messed up. You're not in trouble. Oh. Oh, wow, these are awesome. Thanks, Petunia. Looks like she's chewing on something. She makes I noise. know, like... <laughs> that little smile. I love it. We should hang out today. I got plenty of time. When I'm a bit older, I'm gonna have my own business, and I've already told you this before. You know what? Let's give you the damsel fly instead. You're the best, Petunia. I'll take any bug, and I'll eat it immediately. 
All right, what do we got? Lizard, catnip, painted butterfly. Lizard, catnip, painted butterfly. Uh, let's give this to Coco and see if he freaks out. Sounds great. Keep up the good work, Petunia. Oh, if you're not using it, I suppose I could find something to do with it. Oh, you could. Neutral. You truly could. On. Laney is a really good cat. You just have to dig a bit before you start to see it. If you get to know them, I promise you won't be disappointed. I've always known Laney to be a gifted cat. They have a lot to offer the kingdom. Uh, what was that specifically that you gave Coco? Uh, it was a painted butterfly. Painted butterfly, okay. Hey! I was watching you run around earlier. What do you do all day? Maybe someday I'll show the secret hideout that Fliss helped me build in the forest. Oh, wait! I wasn't supposed to tell anybody about that. S sorry, Fliss. I hope that exists. I also hope it exists. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Crampy. Let's get Crampy something, too. <laughs> it's been you a while. forget about them. They're, they're stuck Crampy, in the den. Crampy, Crampy being in the den makes it hard to remember Crampy. I'm sure not for people who love Crampy. Uh, not that I don't love and Crampy. And there's a sizable portion of people who love Crampy. Yeah. I don't have a problem with Crampy. Despite how much male Crampy thinks that it's appropriate to send someone. <laughs> Greetings, Petunia. I diagnose you as a good leader. What can I help you with? I would be delighted to welcome you to my personal personal quarters, Petunia. It is a great honor to sit in one's home with the leader of the grass-eating kingdom and chat for a spell. All right, there we go. We've we've, Yay. we've fed Crampy. <laughs> Crampy uh, has been fed. Who else are we neglecting? Bob, we're neglecting Bob. But Bob, Bob need fish. Give fish Bob. I will give Bob to a fish. Yes, correct. <laughs> Here you go, Bob. Oh my, you sure do know me well. I really appreciate this, Petunia. Thank you. I'm not big on words, you know. Not every cat's got to be a talker. All right, bye, Bob. I'm going in your house. Whoa! Whoo! Oh, this is nice. This is really reminiscent of Stardew Valley to me. Bob's house looks like somebody's uncle's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like little cat bed by the fireplace. No fish, though. I was expecting- Oh, wait, no, 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 there's a fish. There's a fish. Definitely fish, yeah. The, the, the taxidermy cat has finally gotten some work. <laughs> no, it just- it just looks like a- like a human house in here, almost. And look at how many- like- like Jag's- Jag's, uh, Jag's got seating for two, but, uh, and also- Bob plays, has a full family for set. Two, but... Bob has a full family set and an extra chew uh, chair in the other room to pull over when he has more company. That's adorable. Okay, but to be fair, it's only set for one person. This is telling a very sad story. That he's willing to have company whenever, but he also lives alone? Look, it, it, this many chairs, one plate, poor Bob. Oh, I, I, I was reading it as hope for the future, but now you're making me... Oh... <laughs> Sad. Bob! <laughs> Bob catching all these fish to feed Bob's no. non existent family. No, Bob! Did something happen to your family? <laughs> I don't want to make that many assumptions about Bob, but. Oh. But we can start. Oh, no. Bob's wife left them. Wow, Bob's wife <laughs> left them? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dark secret of Cattails Bob. <laughs> I, I really do give out a lot of misinformation on these streams, don't I? No, they, we are in no way authorities on this at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fish love me, women fear me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'd rather be out fishing than home with my wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All 
right, we gotta find that last statue before uh, autumn is over. Not that we've actually played through much of autumn this time around. We've uh, we've only really gotten halfway through it, but. Let's see. It's because we haven't been sleeping. <laughs> yeah, my my hope is that Bob just has the extra space so that they can invite people over and have big dinner parties and lots of friends. My fear is that Bob had a family and lost them all. <laughs> I prefer the first option. <laughs> I love speculating terrible things about these <laughs> characters. So Champ is actually just really weak. Champ has no canes. <laughs> oh, Champ oh, has is stump that arms. Your, your head cannon. <laughs> this is my head cannon. Champ has stump arms. Champ is overcompensating. <laughs> my head cannon is that Champ is a munchkin cat. <laughs> Champ is a munchkin cat. <laughs> oh, oh. There it is. Okay. Let's go. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I am the steward of great treasure. I watch over it until the one who can claim it will come at last. Do you wish to challenge me for it? Then prepare yourself. The challenge is about to commence. I'll ask you questions and you answer them. Correctly answer three questions and I'll give you a reward. But if you miss three questions, you're out. Here we go. Question one. Domestic cats have a special organ in the roof of their mouths. What is this for? Okay, these fake options are, are not very convincing. I mean, yeah. But also in Warriors, they talk about tasting the air all the time. That is correct. Question two. How high can an adult domestic cat jump? That is correct! Question three. True or false, cats are extremely flexible. Ocelot, do you want to get tied in a knot? <laughs> I mean, define extremely, but yes. That is correct! Astounding! Superb! Petunia, you've won! Great job, I'll distribute the prize now. I've been your host, thanks for playing! You found a power paw. You are filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your social grace has improved. Your social grace? That sounds amazing. What the heck is social grace? I think Petunia needs it. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? I, I have no idea! What? what does this mean? What? what maybe is... it made everyone like me more. Here, let's, let's look or at Or the... maybe it made it, like... Uh, so maybe if you give stuff to people that they like, it adds more relationship points, and if you give them stuff they don't like, it decreases or one or the other. I don't know. Maybe. It doesn't look like anyone went up in stars or anything, so... I, I think... So, these are skills. I think it's going to affect how we do future interactions. So, my assumption is that it will be easier to increase friendship and harder to decrease friendship. Um, hmm, that would be good because we're constantly giving people. We're constantly having a problem with want. that. P P Petunia has a slight problem. <laughs> Petunia has gained one level in not giving people gifts they hate. <laughs> yeah, right. Like heck. <laughs> Petunia's here to give people terrible gifts. Petunia learned social norms. Petunia can speak now. You no longer have social anxiety. Oh, I don't think one level of social can do that much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Petunia has enough social anxiety. No, 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 no. She, she's, she's a little too forward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she got that from. 
I don't know, Moon, do you have an easy time just going up to strangers and oh, shoving fish not. in their face? Absolutely not. Great, okay. I have no idea where Petunia got it. <laughs> I may I may sound um very, very bold and, and brave or whatever on the internet, but um I'm I'm mostly <laughs> just a mess and when faced with any sort of conflict i uh shrivel up in a ball i i i i, I make a mess is what i do i do not i do not act appropriately yeah, yeah. um i say yeah because it's, it's a ditto <laughs> um yeah <laughs> uh anything any new treats any new treats over here in the delicious water? The, uh, mm, mm, mm. Shunya, we had a long talk about this. There's a treat. A... <laughs> the internet is against me on this one. Everyone wants you to be drinking the spicy juice, but th there are bad influences out in the world, Petunia. You don't need to listen to all of them, honey. <laughs> don't, honey, yes. honey, don't, don't consider not dying to a spicy juice. You, you see how it's hurt. You see how you're dying. You hmm. see how you have one half left, honey. Honey, uh, don't, don't, don't. No spicy juice for you. It's um. You. What does this taste? You're like? not doing good. Oh, that tastes like doing food. Um, oh. Hmm. Hmm. You don't have heal. If you encounter any friends on the way home, you're going to have a problem. But I love friends. I, I love friends too, but we we encounter friends when we have less bleeding injuries. It's okay. I ate a whole bunch of random mushrooms I found on the ground, and now I feel better. Petunia, <laughs> <laughs> we we need to have a talk. <laughs> we really need to have a talk. <laughs> okay, after we get in the spicy juice, we don't heal by picking up every random mushroom and eating it. Do you remember what happened last time? <laughs> Remember, remember how uh, Petunia gave um, gave Phantom. I think it was Phantom something they disliked uh, twice in a row. Oh wait, no, that yeah, was Buttercup. Yeah, yeah. a Buttercup. Um, yes. Yeah. And and yet expected this... to remember about the spicy. Juice. Oh, this this is evidence of Petunia not having good memory. <laughs> <laughs> As I am playing Petunia, obviously they take after me. <laughs> Yeah. What? Oh, Pepper. One second. Pepper wants to be freed. Free the pep, gone, pep. Pepper. Also, be gone, Ocelot, just for fun. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Let's sleep. That would be an idea, right? Yeah, I'm, we haven't slept in uh, five days. Wait, wait. Mail. That's fine. Oh boy. Hey Petunia, if you're ever lonely, feel free to stop by for a spell and chat with me at home. I'll leave the front door unlocked for you. You're welcome at my house anytime. Your friend, your neighbor and friend and probably divorced, Bob. <laughs> we don't know that they're divorced. Oh, you know, they might just It's just D a divorced energy. Come on. It's 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 a possibility. It's, a it's possibility. also possible that they just like having friends over and are perfectly fine with their life of having forever living ha having forever lived alone. Hmm, hmm. And yet and yet Bob is inviting us over in case we're ever lonely. W yeah. Because they they want friends and mm -hmm. we want friends so we can be a friend to each other. It's very simple. Bob doesn't need to be divorced. Bob doesn't need to be divorced. <laughs> Are you sure? Bob doesn't need that side of a life. <laughs> they do have divorced energy, said someone. Oh no. Okay, everyone seems to agree Bob is divorced. This is <laughs> Coco is a tough cat to figure out. They certainly seem like they have a unique upbringing, but I can't get them to talk about it. I'm working on it. One of these days, I'll get through to them. 
I just need to keep chatting with them every day and bringing tasteful gifts. Maybe that'll do it. That's new, been our strategy. New ship just drops. Fliss and Coco! <laughs> Although, honestly, it almost seems like that one's canon now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, people are saying deal with it. Or and Bob's divorced. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> also, someone said Bob is the Asgore of cattails, which disturbs me greatly. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll show you that I already talked about this, yes. Okay, bye. Charlotte time. You want a honeycomb? I have like a thousand of them. Seriously, they're starting to get in my way. Take it. Yeah, um, Thank sorry, you, I am regifting this. Yeah, but, but you gave us the exact thing that we needed to get to Talon's heart. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, if you're sure you want me to have it, I'll take it. Flisco is the ship name, says someone. <laughs> oh boy. Do you need something? Some cats just want to run around catching bugs, and I've already said this, and don't they see how much more important the grass-eating kingdom is than their own wants and desires? Flisco, Charlunia, and Momo. Okay. <laughs> Everything's good around town today. Nothing new to report. Earlier today, I snaked us. I, I killed the snake and the jags. Very cool, grass-eating kingdom. Yeah. Oh, I can tell. You are very cool, Jag. Let's give the shrew to Champ just for you. I got a second, if you needed something, Petunia. You don't need it? You sure? There's nothing more important in life than winning. Everything's a competition, Petunia. Absolutely everything. You want social standing? You gotta fight for it. You wanna eat? Best be ready to compete with the best hunters around. You looking to get rich? Step up your game. Everybody else wants a piece of that, too. Stay on your toes and be alert to the challenges around you so they won't catch you off guard. Wow. Wow, Jag. <laughs> but, but, th they're offering us this advice because they, they believe we've earned enough trust to even give them that. By giving us that advice, they believe they're giving us a leg up in life. An advantage that some other people don't have. <laughs> Everybody <They're> is so <laughs> nice to you on your birthday! Amber got me something awesome. Whoa, a southern damselfly? I'll add it to the gift pile. Thanks, Petunia. Seems like sometimes they'd say something special about their birthday, and sometimes they don't when you give them something on their birthday. No big deal, but it's kind of my birthday today. I'm excited about it, but Amber always uses it as an excuse to remind me how old I am. What, can we go in Amber and Sparks' house, then? Is that a thing we can do? Or do we oh, have to have befriended both of them? With, oh, yeah, we well, have three we with Spark. We only have one with, with Ember, because we keep... With Ember, them. yeah. I'm not sure if, like, it's an average, or you have to have both of them, or what. I spend a lot of time trying to get Spark to take their shifts at the stop shop more seriously. Maybe you can talk some sense into them. That child of mine is so forgetful. Oh, come on, it's their birthday. It's their birthday, Ember. We can't go in there. No house. excuse for not working. <laughs> uh, looks like uh, they've got lots of tables. Uh, this one's set for Indeed. two. I'm guessing this is Ember's room, because there's a lot of, like, stuff in it, and a yeah. bug, bug plate. Are there two bedrooms? Uh, yeah, I, I think there's another one already. Oh, is, does the other one have a bed? There's a bed here, but then there's the oh. food. Oh, huh. And then there's a storage room hmm. over here, just filled well, with Well, that's junk. definitely for Ember's Emporium. Wow, Ember. Just have all these mouse corpses free for the pickin. Have your child sleep out in the entryway so that you can use the other room for your storage closet. Oh, no. No, 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 this, is, this, is, this has got to be Spark's room, see? Oh, that's- oh! Sorry. Yeah, no, you're totally right. That's Spark's room. Like, Ember's not Never keeping mind. this tug toy on the ground. You're right, you're right. You sleep out in the entryway so that you can use your room for s more storage. 
<laughs> this is fine. Sometimes you just sleep in the dining room. It's okay. It's fine. What's this flying over here? Oh, just debris. Uh, do you think Buttercup likes Dragonfly, or do you not want to risk it? Uh, uh, hmm. So, they like moth shrews, staying home butterflies. They seem to have liked bugs so far. Maybe Dragonfly? That's also a winged bug. I can't carry a conversation. Someone told me that once, and it really stuck. I, I think they were right. Honey, you need a hug. <laughs> Politely accept it. I can't um, tell if that's dislike or neutral. I think that's neutral because I think, I, like, every time someone's disliked something, they've been very overt about it, you know? That's true. You know, it's a dangerous world out there. You need to be safe. How do I do it, you ask? I sharpen my claws daily and venture out on my own all the time. There's no substitute for personal experience when you're caught in a pinch. Yeah, okay, Phantom. Uh, Phantom likes, uh, bird-type things, right? Bird-shaped Phantom! Da -da 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 -da. A very likes dove, likes finches, um, thrushes, yeah. I'm gonna try a crow. They seem to like doves. I, I mean, they seem to like birds. Crow time, whoop. You know me well, Petunia. Thank you. I'll remember this kind gesture. Uh, looks like Phantom's two stars with us, finally. Well, we did insult them an awful lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's try giving some golden seal to Ellie. Let me just check that we don't... Yep. Oh, yeah, I was going to check for you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Golden seal, no on Ellie. Oh, those ears. Oh... <sighs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> I never bothered to learn how to fight. Hope that's not going to be an issue. I'll try to pull my weight in other ways, like gathering herbs. That's much more in line with my personality, anyways. Even though they hate herbs. Hate herbs, yeah. <laughs> well, let's, let's give one to uh, Crampy. While I am accustomed to seeing many cats in the clinic, I don't often have visitors in my living quarters. I want you to come around and look at a beach. Yeah. Beach. There we go. By my beak, that's an amazing specimen. Three stars, which does nothing because you're already in my house. Ah, greetings, comrade Pet Comrade Petunia? Okay. <laughs> you startled me. <laughs> Pretty comrade, you startled me. I was in the middle of something. I'm concocting a new theory about birds. How do they levitate with such ease? Certainly, it must have something to do with those beaks. N not, not the wings? Okay. Okay, so I think that there's a there might be a slight issue with Crampy. Because, like, obviously, um, this is Crampy's house, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And when you talk to a cat inside their house, I'm making the assumption that you're supposed to see them um, have a special dialogue for you being in their house. Um, I think it's possible that Crampy is reading his, the clinic as their, um, as their home and not as their place of work. And obviously there's nothing to unlock by talking to, to Crampy, by going to, to, to be able to go in the hot house. So... I'm just I'm just speculating that um, there's there's uh, something a little bit wrong with the uh, Crampy's dialogues. Potentially, yeah. Because Crampy says that a lot too. Uh, yeah. All right, I think our next order of business should be attempting to uh, get all the way through to Charlotte. Now that That's we... a good idea, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, I... I mean, I already knew you were, but you confirmed it when you gave me that red rose. Okay, I have no idea what Charlotte just said. Maybe yeah, we can get, get, get her to repeat it. 
It's not every day you meet a cat that can put up with someone like me. I guess that makes you super weird. We already knew that, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, um... We already Petunia knew Petunia super was weird, weird, though. But it was particularly weird when she decided to propose to me. And by propose, I, of course, mean become girlfriends, but, you know. <laughs> it was odd that anyone would do that. Didn't totally mind it. Some frogs for glimmer. Frog for glimmer! All things are attuned to the whims of the universe. Perhaps you are friendly with the forest guardian. Would it perplex you to know that they are not the only guardian of the world? Yes, there are others of their kin. I have met many in my dreams, but I will share no more with you, for it is forbidden. Okay. That's fine. Oh, wait, nope. Not what I wanted. This has brightened my day. That much is crystal clear. Okay. I, I keep saying I like everyone, but I love Glimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want Glimmer to read our horoscope. I know I should be using this lovely day to do something productive, but I'm in a bad mood today. I feel like I've been stuck in a rut for months. You have. I wish I wasn't so useless to the kingdom. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry I just... <laughs> Okay, 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 to all these cats. <laughs> Alright, um... Get some... I don't think you need my blessings to write any fanfics. It, not my game. <laughs> <laughs> write what you please. Oh my god, we have four stars. Four probably. stars with... Oh, shoot. <laughs> sometimes it rains and sometimes it storms. But even rain, rain clouds have sil silver linings, I guess. What's new with you? I'm not the most ambitious cat in the world. As a matter of fact, I don't think I have any ambition whatsoever. I, I don't see the appeal. Setting goals sounds like a great way to let yourself down. If there's one thing I need less of, it's disappointment in myself. Hey, there's a goal, right? Trying to not let myself down as much? It's a start. I do hope that once you get them to four stars, they have like a more expanded... Um, a more expanded uh, uh, amount of dialogue, seeing as yeah, that seems to be to the cap for most people you're not dating. And also, like, um, I don't really know what the limits on dating people are, but it, it just it just doesn't feel right to, like, date five guys at once. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's, let's... Let's get another fish out for poor lonely Bob. I I am slowly starting to come around. <laughs> on divorce? No, 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 no. On the idea that Bob is divorced. But You're coming we, around we on divorce? Them. We we can help them with it though. <laughs> Sorry if I talk about fishing too much. It's just my favorite thing in the world. I could spend a whole day by the riverbank. In fact, I often do. Did you used to spend it with your wife and children? <laughs> well, now, thank you very much. That just made my day. Um, I do wonder if levels are going up higher now that we've been blessed by the, the spirit of purple. Um, <laughs> that That's what it is, spirit of purple. Keep up the good work, Petunia. So, what do you think, Petunia? Is leading the kingdom everything you thought it would be? Was your path full of doubts, or did you always know what, that one day you would become an important cat? I don't feel important now, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> My greatest ambition in life is dating Charlotte and becoming friends with everyone else. My greatest ambition in life... Um, when I get the real game is to be, uh, is, is, is to, to see how funny the kittens look. That, that, 
I really like the idea of funny looking kittens. Just super funny looking kittens. Oh, and I am so glad that you can just have kittens with everybody. Like, yes. I, I'm like very happy that none of these cats have any actual gender. Um, I, I think that's uh, the ideal for games like this. Just throwing gender out entirely. Um, I, I know I use gendered language for the cats constantly, but uh, it's uh, they're they're all they're all uh, <laughs> I, canonically I think, a gender. I, I think non-binary. I'm not sure. Non-binary of some sort. They're they're all they're all non-binary cats who can um, all have lots of kittens with each other. So, yep, yep. I, I everyone is non-binary. Everyone can have kittens with everyone, and everyone uses they them pronouns. Yeah. Oh, and I like how much easier the hunting is in this game. Snake Lily. Uh, the, the 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 hunting in the last game was actually rather confusing. I, I like, like I never even knew that it was random. I just assumed I was bad at it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a firefly up there. We could. Oh wait. Well, there isn't a firefly up there anymore. Mushroom. Mushroom. Oh no. I haven't had the badger song in my head for years. <laughs> <laughs> Does it count as a song? I I don't know. <laughs> a chant maybe? The badger <laughs> chant? <laughs> Oh, I miss I miss early internet animation though. Oh yeah. I miss what you could get away with. A lot of it was just ridiculous fun. It it was funny because you clearly spent more time on this than you really should have. <laughs> I do like that even if you, uh, even if you're absolute, uh, butt at everything else in the game, uh, you can just go around, uh, mowing the lawn for money. Yes, very true, and buy stuff. <laughs> Ember's there to, uh, help the poor defenseless souls who haven't learned how to, uh, kill a frog. Imagine being a frog. Imagine being a frog. This post brought to you by the rabbits. And the crabs. <laughs> the crabs. I didn't even realize the second thing was there. Alright, I don't see any question marks. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're, f first of all, the chat is going on an early 2000s nostalgia binge. But also, there are people here who don't know what the Badger song is. <laughs> um, it's not difficult to find. We're on YouTube. Search it up if you like. It's also not that complicated. <laughs> uh, the lyrics go as follows. Badger, 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 You did three too few badgers. Well, okay. A badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, and eventually you'll get snakes as well. <laughs> Chant may be a more accurate <laughs> description. That's the whole song. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, the lovely animations behind it. By lovely, I mean, uh, <laughs> there's animation behind it. Oh my god, there's more bees. I just got I just got rid of the bees and here here they are. More bees. Ah! Maybe the bees came out to uh avenge their bee friend. Their bee friend? Their bee friend. Imagine you have a bee friend. <laughs> this right. post bought brought to you by the drone bees. They have no friends. <laughs> Alright. Is 
Is this the one I eat for health? I guess not. Are the bees gone? Did they move their hive? Well, the bees were like, uh, we're moving, everyone. <laughs> I don't get any second chances with the bees. <laughs> Alright, let's go to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Entire chat is like, don't you want to befriend them? Friends them, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Petunia. Aww. You want to come over and see my bug collection? We can play some board games or maybe tag. It does kind of act sort of young. We'll have to yeah. keep the volume low or else Ember might get upset, but you should come over soon. They definitely act like a young teenager sometimes. Dear Petunia, a oh, star wait. shines upon you wherever you go. You will accomplish great things in the wildwood. Signed, a friend. A friend. So I have a feeling suspicious. that's the forest guardian. Oh, you think so? I might be wrong. Just the the printing of the letter led me to believe this. <laughs> Greetings, Petunia. You have come to seek my guidance, have you not? Our fates are intertwined, yet we are very different beings, Petunia. I am constantly in awe of the tenacity of mortal cats. Your days are numbered, so you must burn brighter and stronger. I am inspired by your passion. That was so nice! Thank you! What's up, Petunia? Something on your mind? I've got this annoying tuft of fur that keeps sticking up. Can't get it to lay flat on my head. How irritating. I've been wanting one of these for ages. I really owe you one, Petunia. You really didn't have to, Petunia. Thanks. My parents instilled in me a protective instinct. They told me, Jag, the greatest thing you can do is be an advocate for the weak and vulnerable. I took their advice to heart. One day, our colony came under attack. A raiding party from the north descended on us like vultures in the night. They wanted our lands and our riches for themselves. That's when my parents sprang into action. I saw them put action into those words. They charged right into the fields that surrounded the town and led the invading army away long enough for the rest of us to muster our strength and prepare for the attack. Their strategy worked, and we staved off the invasion. But my parents paid the ultimate price. They sacrificed their lives for the colony. For me. I will never forget what they did. I honor their legacy by defending others. And on that fateful night, someday in the unknown future, I will be strong enough to do the same. It's a little self-sacrificial, Jag. Yeah. You don't, don't really need to... Hmm, okay... Did you need something? Hey, I've got a turtle that I don't want to go bad. I'm not gonna use it. Maybe you can think of something to do with it. Free turtle. Free turtle. Hey, where that, uh, did we already give them the honeycomb from Charlotte a while ago? I think so. I think I just turned yeah. around and gave it to them. I totally might have we missed can, that. We can, we can, we can gamble by giving them this bee. Oh, I think that's an awful idea. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, it was a great <gasps> idea. No, they like bees. Cool, Talon likes bees. We've got full Talon, Talon stars. Full Talon love. You always have something to say, don't you, Petunia? Got any good stories? You want a carp? I have like a thousand of them. Seriously, they're starting to get in my way. Take it. Oh, 
Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. Hmm. I think it's possible hearts go up slower than stars. Entirely possible, I would imagine. Hey, I was watching you run around earlier. What do you do all day? I love Fliss so much, but I will admit, it's nice to go out on my own. They just aren't very imaginative. They leave all, leave all the imagining to me. Mmm. A rift. Mm. Hey, Fliss. I do try to give Lainey their space. I want to see them grow and explore on their own, but I'll always be there for them. We're the same age, of course, but I sort of helped to raise Lainey. It was difficult for my mother to divide her attention between all seven of us kittens, so I stepped into the role naturally. You were... Oh! Keep up the good work, Petunia. You sure do know how to brighten my day, don't you? I try to spend most of my time doing mundane tasks that are time-consuming, Petunia. Anything I can take off- uh, anything I can take off your plate is a win for our kingdom. Yeah, what do you do? What do I do? <laughs> I don't- Charlotte's voice was actually the first one I developed when I was just looking at their profiles. I, I saw their face and I was like, ah, you sound like this. <laughs> I've just been living day by day. It's the best way to live, just taking things slow and enjoying the journey. You can't live in the future if you can't live in the past, so... Might as well live in the moment. Hmm. Maybe Bob is, like, actually young. This Who knows? <laughs> We've been thinking of them as... As like this older Old guy. guy. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe Bob came out of the womb wanting to go fishing, you know? Ugh, I was trying to get the frog. There is there no deep lore behind it. They just like fish. All things are attuned to the whims of the universe. You came to me seeking knowledge, do you not? I have much to offer. The ways of my homeland are not the same as the ways of your kingdom, but there is wisdom in the practices of both. If more cats could see the truth of these words, the world would be better for it. This has brightened my day that <coughs> This that has brightened my day that yep. much is crystal clear. Maybe you need some golden seal. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. There's some stuff going on in here. <gasps> Got like a little fairy Oh, this is here. lovely den. <laughs> book. Smaller book. Candles. Lit candles. Cushions. Room for a lot of people to come in here. And all sit around the crystal ball. Mm hmm And also there's a book in the corner. There's a book in both corners. <laughs> And some gold. Yeah, yeah. And oh, is that a conspiracy den. chart? That's definitely a conspiracy chart. There is no bed here. I'll have you know. There are many rooms and many things. There is no bed. Bed no exist. Uh, what do you call this then? Uh, I, well, I suppose if you're a dragon, you could sleep on that. Um, most people would find actually sleeping on a be bed of jagged coins and gemstones to be uncomfortable. Oh, Petunia immediately sits down and looks at me as I say that. Okay. <laughs> Petunia disagrees. Petunia thinks this is a lovely comfortable it's like bed. It's like a Scrooge McDuck kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Scrooge McDuck would also not be that comfortable. I, I, I think he's lying to himself. Alright, I'm not really sure about the, uh, the, this side of Glimmer, though. Like, okay, I'm, mean, like, like the, this, this conspiratorial stuff hasn't mm -hmm, really mm -hmm. come up much in their dialogue. Um, the, the the level of suspicion, you know. Also, the the message said there were lots of crystals in here before we were allowed in the den, but I don't see. I mean, aside from in this in this pile of gold, I don't really see any crystals anywhere. It's possible the walls are literally made of crystal. Hmm. 
because I, I don't know what other material that would be. Maybe. And also the thing in the corner, I'm pretty sure, is a... Well, crystal ball, but... Crystal. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean... This? Right, directly to your left, this yeah. This thing? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe. What does Glimmer have to say? I'd probably have to say now that we're all set here. I think I dropped a catnip somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Do you want a petunia? You'll probably take better care of it than I could. It deserves better. Alright, thanks. Yay, catnip. I'm just gonna end up giving it to someone else, though. Alright, um... Champ time. Hey, it's Petunia. What's on your schedule for the day? Can you believe the nerve of some cats? Spark keeps giving me a nasty look every time I walk by. Spark has good taste. <laughs> It's disrespectful. After all the amazing things I've done on behalf of the kingdom, don't they know greatness when they see it? Yeah, see? Champ, a problem. Champ, a great guy. You know what? Oh, were you looking for me? Why? I hunt and catch bugs. Th th that's all there is to know about me. I'm not really good at making conversations. I I'm trying to get better. I, I promise. Oh, I hope you get better. How kind of you. Oh, it's Petunia, right on time. Uh, you know what? Spark remembers her name now. <laughs> if you listen real closely, you can hear mice scurrying under the dead leaves. They're so crunchy, it makes it impossible to hide. Oh, you're still wanting to talk to me. That's fine. I didn't mean to be so standoffish or anything. I just didn't expect you to be so chatty. Thanks, I'll store this in my den for now. This is my favorite season. I love the cool nights. It's like the autumn leaves speak to me when I'm hunting. You ever slow down and listen to the rustling of the wind through the trees? It's quite soothing. It is indeed. Spring is still better, but fall is very good. Oh, I already gave Jack stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lee likes fish. You got any fish? I got a turtle. A legendary turtle. I guess so. Let's see if Lanny likes turtle. You're a swell cat, Petunia. Lanny seems, uh, I... at least positive on turtle. I'll put it on likes neutral. My favorite one was that, that one that looked just like a trout. That's nice of you. Okay. Bliss is at two stars. I gotta turn my light on. It suddenly got dark in here. Okay. I think other than Lainey and um, maybe Ellie, since we made them mad, mm -hmm. uh, everyone in camp is at least two stars, I think. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... Um... For, for, the, for the next few days, I think I'm going to uh, try to very, very quickly uh, see how much we can raise uh, our Charlotte? relationship with Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, so, let's take out uh, catnips. And if we have any flowers, I don't think we do, so I think we're going to have to rely on catnips. Um, 
Uh, I'm going to quickly run around and uh, talk to everybody um, in, a, in, a, in a very uh, calculated way. Don't worry, they'll repeat their dialogue uh, very much um, later. <laughs> they'll, they'll all definitely have the same things to say later. Yeah. Jag is at uh, four now. Oh, lovely. I'm just uh, making sure I talk to them so that I'm not... Um... Oh, wait, oh it's, uh, it's Eli's birthday. It's Eli's birthday. Uh, Ellie, 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 it's Ellie's birthday. Uh, what is Ellie like? <laughs> I will check. Uh, Ellie, Ellie likes Blue Jays, Magpies, Mice, and Carp. Okay, I think we have some of that. Maybe that's Vision. Um, let's keep our catnip back out. Do you have any carps around? Okay. Or mice? Or blue jays or pigeons. Carpet is. Let's do this. I like that the birthday is rainbow so you don't miss it. Mm hmm. You get a lot of attention on your birthday. I could get used to this. Hey, Petunia, are you here to give me a birthday present? Aw, oh, you didn't have to. But really, this is a wonderful birthday present. Thank you, Petunia. Self. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of text from Buttercup. Sorry, I skipped through it. I'll come back. I swear. Uh, ba basically, um, Buttercup is surprised to see you awake, and uh, they sometimes like to take a nap so that they'll be well rested in time for the evening because they like the evenings. Oh, free shrew from Glimmer. Free shrew. Bob loves a sunny day at 1.40 a.m. <laughs> you want a white firefly? I have like a thousand of them. Seriously, they're starting to get in my way. Take it. Right now for the catnip. Okay, if you're sure you want me to have it, I'll take it. All right, that's Three one hearts! So let's, uh, oops, not, not go in Charlotte's house. Uh... Let's um, waste do, a whole bunch of time until. Do we have any trout or something for Lainey? Just because they're the last person in camp who's one star with us. Okay. Let's see what we got. Um, uh, Lainey. We got salmon. Lainey likes. Oh, there's a trout. Lainey likes know. marigold, um, and trout and diamonds, which we wouldn't ever get. Let's try the salmon. I know that it's okay. not a trout, but uh, it's it's a, it's along the same lines. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have a great idea for this. And th two stars were good. Okay. And they like uh, salmon. Good. Okay. Uh, I am going great. to uh, see if I can't sleep the day away. Um, in a in a. Oh, sleep. and we forgot to talk to Crampy. Says everyone. You know, let's, let's, let's <laughs> also bring Crampy something because, like, while we're at it, um, licorice. Uh, uh, they tend to like herbs. Catnip, marigold, golden seal. Okay, let's get the marigold, because we just got a bunch of that. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Crampy, crampy, crampy. I'm gonna tell us uh, how weird it is someone is in his, the house again. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> I must advise you to ignore the experiment in the back of the den. Mere observation will alter its results considerably. Pay, pay no heed to it. Safe is to stay in the front near the clinic. I can't even remember what I've left laying about. Probably something dangerous, knowing me. Okay, we have talked to Lovely. Crampy. We have we have given Crampy a gift to uh, ensure if I bed I get next time. <laughs> uh, but like, let's see, let's see if we can't um we can't uh, sleep aggressively. Oh boy, uh, there's a Rick roll happening in the chat. Hmm. That, uh, that certainly is a thing happening in the chat. It is. Yep, yeah, we can just 
we can just sleep. To be fair, we, we stayed awake for many days in a row. I, I would completely understand we're if keeping, you need some rest. We're making up for, for, for the last <laughs> time. Okay, now it's a quote-unquote 6 a.m. Uh, after we slept for an entire day. Whoa, there's the first snowball garlic was talking about. Um, dee -dee -dee. They all have comments on the winter, but it's pretty. You know, we don't always have to talk. Sometimes we can just hang out in the same space. Lots of cats are working hard at a job that sucks, and I don't get it. Just because society says you have to constantly advance doesn't mean it's true, or even right. If I'm having fun doing what I'm doing, I chalk that up to a success. No need to think more than a couple days ahead. Am I having a good time? Yeah, that's enough for me. If I stop having fun, I'll reconsider. I'll probably move on to something else. It's whatever. No need for a five-year plan. It's dumb to think you could predict five years into the future anyways. How arrogant. Charlotte has good advice, yes. <laughs> okay, if you're sure you want me to have it, I'll take it. Alright, we're looking at uh, three star Charlotte. Uh, still. Three heart Charlotte. Oh, three heart Charlotte, yes, yes. Um, I'm just uh, gonna do the same thing I did last time. Yep, crampy, crampy. I'll remember. Look, I know I can be pretty cold and distant. If I see it a bit gruff when we first met, I apologize. Most cats are rotten to their core, and I had misjudged you. Misjudged you. What's past is past. Water under the bridge. Okay. Yeah, da, 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 da. Crampy, we'll go see Crampy, I swear. Crampy, uh, once again, is excited that we are in Crampy's house. Yep. <laughs> the trick to successfully staying out in the snow for a long time is to keep moving. I usually try to stand guard in one place for a long time, but you can't do that in the winter or else your legs will freeze like a cat popsicle. You only have to get that wa wrong once and you never will again. I'm gonna, um, give Jack this firefly. Uh, cause, uh, I saw the star count went down. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ellie is not a fan of mornings. Me neither. <laughs> I'd especially not be a fan of mornings if I stood outside on, uh, all, all night. All day, day, all night, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, this they're giving us a white, white firefly. This isn't a white firefly. That's nice. This is a hair. That, oh boy. <laughs> uh, Phantom. Phantom, this How? is not a white firefly. This is not a white firefly. <laughs> Were you already holding the hair? No, I had no hair. Okay. I did not no. have a hair. You got a hair. I had a white firefly in my inventory. Phantom <laughs> Phantom gave me a hair. Phantom. <laughs> Here, it's a firefly. You see this cute firefly I caught? This it's lovely tiny baby arm. firefly. I caught it with one hand. <laughs> Alright, guys, can we can we stop spamming song lyrics in the chat? It's um it, it makes it hard to see anyone legitimately saying anything. Oh, yes, I am leaning. Wait, or are you Fliss? No, no, you're Fliss. I'm, okay. I'm leaning. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Petunia. I, oh, sorry. Hey, Petunia. I heard through the grapevine that you've got a special someone now. Come on, spill the beans. Who is it? I'm dying to know more. I want all the details. P.S. Congrats. And tell me already. Maybe. Same, though. Did you just growl at me, or was that your stomach? Oh, yeah, we are starving a bit. Oh. Yeah, everyone's everyone's talking about how I need to eat food now. Uh, you know what? I got a hair right here. Hair? Yep. 
shoot, it's my birthday, isn't it? I keep forgetting. Honestly, it's not something I care to celebrate. Um, yeah, well, I guess Do I Do you have probably, a thistle on you? I probably have another thistle in my little in my little garage. Yeah. A birthday thistle. One with a uh, two heads. <laughs> Birthday thistle. You know who also really likes turtles? Was garlic. <laughs> oh. Oops. Yeah, that would be a good birthday gift, wouldn't it? Yeah. But they they were ultra rare and we gave it away. I wonder if Spark's saying that because Spark likes mice. Potentially? I never did like the snow. It's like stepping straight into a cold puddle every time you take a step. Yuck. Weren't you looking for a tussock moth the other day? Long story short, I have an extra. I thought maybe you could use it. Nobody gives better gifts than Champ. You know, it might be funny to date Champ. It might be a, a fun, <laughs> a funny experience. I, I think I would have a fun run. Oh wow, these are awesome! Thanks, Petunia. See, this is how you can be nice to Buttercup, Champ. I am nice. What are you talking about? All right, I think it's possible the only person I haven't talked to is Fliss. Fliss, Fliss, Fliss. No, I talked to Fliss. So actually, you know what I can do? I can look at um. I can look at my social and yes. it will tell me who I've spoken to, which is everybody. Yay. Great. Time to waste the day away. Sleep. <laughs> at this point we're uh not to uh not not to not to be uh speed running all of a sudden, but I am really curious as to um as to what, what happens marriage when you entails. Hurts, yeah. Oh, people do want us to go into Buttercup's den now, now that we have three oh, stars. Oh, you're right. We'll do that tomorrow. I used to do this in Harvest Moon all the time. Uh, Mineral Town specifically, Friends of Mineral Town, I would just sleep and sleep and sleep. I'd do my chores, I'd sleep. I'd do my chores, I'd sleep. I'd give somebody something, I'd sleep. Uh, in, in fact, uh, f f when I was a kid and I wasn't really good at Harvest Moon, um, large portions of my play style were, uh, were, were, were based around gathering a bunch of weeds outside and then sleeping. Petunia, I've been debating writing this letter for a long time, but it needs to be said. Thank you for taking the time to get to know me. I know I can come across very rough, well, not as rough as Talon, but you saw past all that and have treated me better than any cat I have ever known. I appreciate you, Jag. Oh! Cute. You ever notice how a cat pounces in a beautiful arc? There's gotta be a way to quantify the relationship between pounce strength and a resultant arc. I don't have a way to res express the relationship just yet, but I'm working on it. Maybe someday I'll have it down. You know, Fliss seems a bit science-minded. Yeah. I mean, Fliss is already and very. Lainey's a bit Coco, imaginative. But... Yeah. I haven't had much time to explore the outskirts of our territory. My responsibilities keep me close to home. What is it like out there, Petunia? We also haven't uh, given a gift to Ember, like, ever. Um, You're right. I, I think Ember might also still be one star. Yeah, they, they are, yeah. yeah Definitely heard this one today. Okay. Um, uh, they like uh, cardinals and doves, so birds, probably. You know what, we could probably just buy a dove from them. <laughs> Ember, could we buy a dove and give you a dove? Yep. <laughs> this is a uh, what is the thought that counts. Yep. Oh, that's a pretty one. And now we're at two stars of Ember. I recognize it quite well. <laughs> Ember keeps telling me to save my muse, but why should I? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but I do know what I want today. Oh, hey, it's Petunia. Uh, thank goodness. This is going to sound ridiculous, but earlier today I saw my own tail in the corner of my vision and I, I got scared. I 
thought a bat was coming to get me. Do, do normal cats do silly things like that? Sweetie. Okay. Oh my! Okay. Buttercup's den looks pretty well organized. Yeah. Uh, st still has a conspiracy chart over here, though. Uh, yeah. Smaller one, but... Mm, wonder what this tastes like. Okay. Did we talk to Champ? No, we didn't. The more difficult a fight is, the better, th the bigger the payoff. No risk, no reward. And I'm not talking about the trophies. I'm talking about the satisfaction of a job well done. Can't beat it. Okay. D but ch ch champ, you say things like these, and you d like I like you. <laughs> Oops. I hope you'll say that again. Oh, don't mind my frown. It's not you, I promise. I'm having another down day. It happens from time to time. Most of the time, actually. It used to be a lot worse. I think I took some time to adjust after moving out here. Sometimes I still miss my old life. I think that's what gets my mood all screwed up. I'll get over it. It helps to have someone to talk to so that I can process my emotions. Thanks, Petunia. Oh ho ho, perhaps you'd want in and on my you'd like in on my scheming. In my wanderings, I have met folk of many kinds. The wisest were the mole folk, huge creatures that dwell underground. They revealed to me the secrets of the earth. Gemstones beyond count lie just beneath the surface. Their glittering hues still dance across the forefront of my memories. Okay, glamour. You know, I'm just real content in life. Been thinking a lot about all the blessings I've got, and there's too many to count. You're one of them, you know. It's nice having you around, Petunia. Look at oh, that you're funny You're so face. sweet! <laughs> but, I'm sorry, you're definitely a funny old uncle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Coco. Fliss. No talent yet. Hey. I've got a Corpius that I don't want to go bad. A Copperinus that I don't want to go bad. I'm not going to use it. Maybe you can think of something for it. Okay. Um, I'll uh, put it away. You're doing a great job as leader, Petunia. It's not only me that's saying that, by the way. I overhear almost every conversation that takes place in town. Relatable. I happen to be <laughs> standing around and cats just happen to be talking, you know? Seems like everybody has nothing but good things to say about you. It takes a special cat to be so loved by your people. Working hard or hardly working? I'm doing a bit of both. You're a super cool cat, Petunia. Do you give out autographs? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, unless you do. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I didn't mean it. Uh, probably. Look at the little blushy face that we're getting at yeah. only two stars. Are, are we a celebrity? Did Petunia become a celebrity? Unlikely. <laughs> I can talk, but make it quick. I'm in the middle of a jog. What are you doing in your free time, Petunia? Or do you not have any free time? Is being the leader really busy? I bet it's really busy. Oh, I haven't given you a chance to answer any of my questions. S sorry, Fliss tells me I ramble sometimes. I I'm working on it. Crampy, crampy, crampy. <sighs> Fine, we'll go see Crampy. <laughs> Comrade Petunia. I would like to think that my beak makes me more attuned to the graceful ways of the bird folk. They are so beautiful that as they drift across the sky, like tiny balls of yarn passing in front of the sun. Oh, to be a bird and spend the day carelessly floating about. Doesn't that sound wonderful? It sounds delightful, actually. Delightful, delightful, not <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful as well, obviously. Well, up until the time at which you were ferociously smacked down and devoured by, devoured by a hungry kitten, that part does seem decidedly less appealing. Mm. Yeah. 
you think he wants this? Maybe. Not to blind him. Alright, neutral. Neutral. Alright, now back to Charlotte. You know, we don't always have to talk. Controversial opinion incoming, but the point of relationships really isn't to make the other person happy. It's to make you happy. And if you're not, then you're in the wrong relationship. It feels so simple to say it, but so many cats have that backwards. Sure, in an ideal world, you're both happy, but you can't force it. You've got to look out for yourself, right? Okay, if you're sure you want me to have it, I'll take it. My cat's giving me dating advice all the time. I'm dating you, I don't want dating <laughs> advice. What what was the thing we gave Crampy? Like uh, it was Copernicus? the Copernicus? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the it was the it was the it was the tall mushroom. The tall mushroom gotcha. that isn't yeah, yeah, um, yeah. that isn't a problem. We forgot Phantom, uh, as usual. <laughs> Charlotte! Genuinely gives great dating advice. Thanks, Charlotte. Alright, Phantom, here we go. Well, don't drown. I got something for you, Petunia. Not that I think you can't take care of yourself. I know that you can. I just thought you might be able to use this catnip. I might. This isn't catnip. This is this is a this is a Coffrinius. Phantom! F Phantom. We Phantom, okay, so Phantom has done the Phantom same thing needs as glasses. last time. So, so last time Phantom said... Said that, that they were giving that, us a white butterfly yeah. and they instead gave us a hair. This time they said they were giving us catnip and they gave us Copernicus. And you know what's right next to the Copernicus in our inventory? It's the catnip. So, there's something going on here with Phantom where the object that that she... they That they are grabbing to to say that they are giving to us is the one next to the object that's going into our inventory. Yeah. Which is an interesting mistake. I wonder how yeah. that happens. Okay. Um, we're gonna sleep. <laughs> sleep, sleep. We're still, we're, we're still speed running. I just, uh, I just figured we might talk to some people. Okay, 6 a.m. Let's, uh... Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna... Oh, very, very snowy, because it's the last day of autumn. Mm-hmm. You want a wolf spider? I have, like, a thousand of them. Seriously, they're starting to get in my way. Take it. That's even larger than the last spider you gave us. <laughs> it's the same one, I think. Okay. Right, so, Charlotte, uh, is still three. I yeah. think I think we're probably getting close, though. Uh, Lainey, let's chat. Uh, thanks for the paper Always wanted butterfly. the paper peanut butterfly. Crampy. Crampy. <laughs> Crampy, let's chat. Making you read this. Perhaps you were expecting to see a whole wardrobe full of masks in my room? Nope, I only have one. It has served me well for many years. Who made this? Who made this mask? Right, we got Lainey. Bing. Trouble never sleeps, I understand. Jag. Hey kid, you know you can rely on me when you need help, right? Point me in the direction of a problem and I'll work it out until it's gone. Or don't. Maybe it's more helpful for me to keep to my corner and let you do your thing un uninterrupted. Whatever's best for the kingdom. I trust you to make that call. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust me to do anything. <laughs> I'm not I'm not really a morning cat My mind still isn't firing on all cylinders It's an interesting phrase for a cat to know uh, hmm? Mornings I 
just can't stand crickets. I Good had to one know. hiding in my den last month. It kept chirping at full blast every night while I was trying to get some sleep. I finally tracked it down and threw it in the river. Good riddance. I never want to see another cricket again. All right, we know how to make Phantom upset with us. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Petunia. What's your schedule for the day? This weather is perfect for planning an ambush. An ambush? I'm going to sneak around near the borders for a while and hope I can catch someone off guard. You've got to use everything life throws at you to your advantage. That's what separates the winners from the losers. I... See, they're, they're giving us advice. They wouldn't do that if we weren't their friend. Yeah, they're going to ambush us. No, they're going to ambush other people. I'm trying to get better at talking, so I went up to Coco yesterday and tried to start a conversation. B but I ran out of things to say after we exchanged hellos. Why is this so hard for me? Absolutely pathetic. <laughs> I'm supposed to be practicing my customer service voice, but that doesn't sound f like fun at all. I'd rather just talk to people normally. Oh, hello, Petunia. Hard work running the shop, there's inventory to track, muse to count, customers to satisfy. It can all be a bit overwhelming. On bad days, I remind myself of the important role I'm playing in getting this kingdom up and running. It makes the work seem all worthwhile. My eyesight's already bad. I didn't need this fog to roll in and make my vision worse. It's like the whole universe is conspiring against me. Fine, I get it. I should just stay inside and get out of the way. What else is new? <laughs> I'm fine. Oh. oh, ho, ho. Perhaps you'd like in on my scheming. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Again. What a delightful event this fog has brought. The spirits of our ancestors are not far. They dance among us even now. Among us. Even now. <coughs> yep. Sorry if I talk about fishing too much. It's just my favorite thing in the world. I could spend a whole day by the riverbank. In fact, I often do. You, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Did I miss anyone? Coco. Coco. Pliss. And Pliss. Coco so and the Pliss. Together forever and not, uh, in not getting talked to. Making the rounds again, Petunia. It's nice to have a leader who's so involved. My goal is to be on good terms with every cat in the kingdom. Easier Ditto. said than done, I know. Some are easier to get through to than others, I'm sure you've noticed. It's kind of interesting how different they all are. These sure are a ragtag bunch of felines. I don't know, all the people in the south seem like they've got kind of similar attitudes about this. <laughs> but we all moved out here for a reason. Once I can figure out that out for any individual, I can really start to ask the right questions. The entire chat is just among us now. <laughs> <clears throat> Keep up with the good work, Petunia. I had a lot of doubts during the journey to our new home. Fears about what life would look like out here in the unknown. But I'm proud of what we've accomplished together, and I know we have a long way to go. Alright, we can't be far off with, um... Charlotte. With Charlotte, so... Sleeping time. It's gonna be winter tomorrow. You know, 12 a.m. I think is early enough to uh, to go bother people. Winter! So, what do you think, Petunia? Is leading the kingdom everything you thought it would be? Was your path full of doubts, or did you know that we've already seen this? Okay. <laughs> you ever notice how a cat pounces, blah, blah, blah? Sorry, I'm a little short with you. I get grumpy when I'm tired. You know, we don't always have to- You've noticed, but the snow is sticking to the ground and winter is here to stay. Take care of yourself in the cold weather. 
Prey will get harder to find now that it's so chilly. If you're hungry, you might find some tasty blueberries growing in the wild. Okay. Alright, uh, one more sleep. And, uh... Our nest is white now. What? Why? Do we have that much snow in our den? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's... I, I, I want to say that's at least kind of weird. <laughs> that we have so much snow in our den. I'll just uh, I'll just go through and maybe maybe cut out all of winter one <laughs> later. Per perhaps, yeah. That's why I never st save my streams. By the way, if you guys were wondering, it's because um, it's because I am not very good at monitoring my own la language uh, <laughs> uh, on my channel. Incredibly professional, I know. Um, anyway, let's see if Charlotte uh, likes us today. Oh oh oh! <gasps> Lots of cats are working hard at a job that sucks, and I don't get it. Blah, 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 blah. You've already given us this, this advice, but it's very nice. Yes, 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 okay. yes. Um, I think yeah. let's go buy. Let's go buy a ring. Let's go buy a ring. Yep, yeah, ring, 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 ring. If we have enough money, we probably don't. We have we don't, seventy. We don't. We have need to money. sell some stuff. What's 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 in our mailbox? Stay healthy. Oh, great. Mail from Krampy, Greetings, Petunia. Dr. Crampy here. I don't know if you've noticed, but it started snowing recently. It's gotten quite cold, which increases the chance of you catching a dangerous sickness. I've attached something to help. Keep your health in mind this winter season. Uh, thanks. All right, let's let's just grab a bunch of ring, 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 ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, Money let's for grab... ring. <laughs> okay, Gra grab stuff to sell. Um, we can probably like okay, seven seven of a bunch of things we got. Uh, seven plant, seven plant, seven plant. Um, we got a bunch of thrushes. Oops. Okay, that, you know what? I'm gonna be a little bit less practical about this and just shove a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Uh, cause, uh, this is the most important day of our lives and we can just sell things indiscriminately, I think. Correct, yes, absolutely. And when we walk up to Ender, we, uh, Ember, we can just use the sell all button and it'll be great. We could sell probably a couple of crabs, too. I don't think they even do anything. Um, they remind us of the past. That's true. Mm. Okay, that's a decent amount of cool. junk. Let's, Let's go. Sell, it. sell, sell, sell. Selling junk. Money for a ring. That's champ, not Ember. Hey, champ. Not Ember today. Nope. Uh, um, wrong thing. Sell items. Uh, it might sell be on everything. the last page that's sell all. Yep. Oh, yes, uh, that yes, was yes. much more than we needed, I think. Oh, yes. Shiny trinket. Here Shiny we go. trinket, 200. Yeah. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ember, 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 Ember. No, no. Charlotte, 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 Ember, Charlotte, Charlotte. Ember, we're not Charlotte. proposing to Ember. No, 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 no. I just got stuck on Ember because we needed to get to Ember so we could propose to Charlotte. We're okay, proposing okay. to Charlotte. Let's go. All right, here we go, Charlotte. Let's see how much you like divorce now. Can we spend some time together today? Unless you're busy, I didn't want to impose. When we started our relationship thing. I didn't know what to think about you. I also had no clue what a relationship meant. We've had a lot of fun together, right? We both like hanging out, and obviously we both care about each other a lot. I didn't think I'd ever be the cat to say this, but sure, let's get married. I did a lot of thinking about why I was so scared of commitment and long-term arrangements, and it turns out I was freaked out about choosing the wrong cat. It's nice knowing that you are the right cat, Petunia. I don't see why we shouldn't make this marriage thing happen. But I'm going to make the wedding weird. No take-backs, okay? Now, alright, so now we're, 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 we're engaged, question mark? And I think so, I'm yes. assuming that the next step is to get all of those marriage those points. marriage points so we can, so that make, we can the marriage happen. make the marriage happen. Okay. So we're engaged. We're engaged, which is like a... 
which is another like if you if you if we go to this uh if we go to this setup uh charlotte has, i think that's the last one yeah i don't like the way this is set up though because it makes me feel like 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 i've done something wrong by not being yeah. this far with these <laughs> other people like uh but but why don't i have love hearts with everyone else question talon's birthday all right talon's let's uh birthday. let's let's go get talon a b um if we didn't sell them all um and then we can end the stream yeah and then i can go through and see if i can't edit the stream <laughs> lesbian non-binary wedding yahoo here we go it's incoming all right yeah it's my birthday so what it's just like any other day I wish everybody would leave me alone. That would be the best present. Don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not much for conversation or partying. This might be the nicest thing I've ever been given on my birthday. I feel honored to receive it. These are things that, that, <laughs> that Talon is saying about a bee, by the way. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> These are wonderful. Bee. It's simply a bee. Okay, uh, I think we're done then. Uh, yes. Thank you for being here, Sunny. I appreciate you... Um, I appreciate here. you having me. I also appreciate you in general. Mm, I appreciate you in general as well. All right, everybody. Goodbye forever.